and uh, share it with your friends or people of your community that are just begin learning as well. But we'll be starting in a bit. We have been doing some technical stuff. So yeah, but I, I think we are on go at this point. And there's nothing much we should be worried about. This is the part of the We are at work. Cool. By the way, where are we going to join me? I see we are in having a lot of hype. These days, around social media, we have to like, of course, it's completely remote and it's nothing more lovely. So I'm quite looking forward to working right in, you know. Um, but starting with the workshop today, we have a bunch of things which we have planned for, for you all, folks, and uh, for all the people who are watching this live stream in the later in the future. Uh, even before jumping onto that, I think we better start with a quick introduction. Check it with my good trust. Uh, yes, thank you, Siddharth. I was just, again, checking a couple of things, technical stuff. Uh, all right. Uh, hey, everyone. So uh, my name is Chakit, and I am based here in India. And we are live directly from Goa. So so we are at React India Goa, and we are live from here directly. Uh, so uh, I work as a, a developer relations engineer for Storyblock, which is a headless CMS. And we'll be seeing a lot more about it in, in this workshop in, in a while. Um, other than this, uh, I am a technical content writer. I write content on Twitter. I do... I do I do spaces on Twitter and yep yeah, these these are the couple of things I I do and I'll I'll think of few more because I'm not able to uh, recall them as of now so so yeah uh, that's that's a little about me uh, you can go ahead sit you know because uh, yeah like all the way from Goa. Of course, we have the beginning of the hour. We do have a good topic in person, and we do have a good Google you know, which has, which has a lot of things in store for everyone who joins us and comes up and say just, you know, I passing by. So if you're around, if you're joining us in person, make sure you come check it out. It's just outside the conference hall. And yeah, thank you so much for introducing yourself. Moving on, uh, talking about me, 
Yeah, Ramal, this is Abhay as well. Uh, basically, I'm joining in from Boroja. That's, that's where I live. And uh, my hometown is Kulagur. So if you, are, if you are any place near, hopefully we can you know, cross our bridge sometime. And uh, we are all working as development here. Currently, it's a block, which is like a headless CMS. Now, I've been involved in Hackathon uh, community schools for quite some time. And we are you know, the same. I also am a village coach, which means that I love hackathons and I spend my weekends, you know, at some of the hackathons. Some of the other hackathons, we talk to hackers, drive just like keeping a event, something like that. I, uh, all in all, the journey has been quite good so far. Apart from that, uh, also I'm a community expert. I was a tiger on the of two days in India, so that I'm a community expert for sure. But yeah, and in case do check on that as well. That's something I recommend. Well, I guess enough of, enough of us. Uh, again, what do you think? Should, should we go ahead and start and uh, let our audience know what, what do we have in store for everyone out there? Yes, I think I think we can just start in a couple of minutes. I, I've, I've just tweeted about it and maybe let's let's tweet a little more about it uh, let's let's wait for a couple of minutes for people to join in and then we we have some awesome i mean the workshop is going to be awesome because it is going to be live coding so uh, let's get ready for bugs and fun and yeah i mean i mean there there are going to be bugs uh, not like that we haven't prepared anything but you know like it's 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 live coding so uh, they there are supposed to be bugs um, anyways uh, i've been i've been tweeting uh, around the workshop i've been tweeting on twitter for that um all right so it's you in the chat huh. uh all right so so yeah uh, i was just tweeting around let's let's wait for a couple of more minutes and then we can start we'll be covering i mean we'll be making a little blog website using story block and headless we'll be seeing what headless is we'll be talking about the benefits atomic approach and stuff like that uh sid will be sharing his screen soon so we'll completely go through the agenda of the workshop and yeah we'll we'll start in a while i guess yeah. And you know, because it's like a workshop, it's not just a talk, we are definitely going to do a lot of live conferences in front of people. And to make sure, uh, you know, this is actual live, I've already shown you that it's going to be And, uh, oh. and yeah, yeah. <laughs> so this, this proves, right, that we, we are joining in now, this isn't recorded. So uh, it's, it's Oh, I see Vidam in chat. Hi, Vidam. How's it going? I, I saw Amit as well before in the chat. Let us know from where are you all joining or what's up with the look for from this particular podcast. And yeah, I just we have been on social media recently about the workshop story block in prison in India and uh, everything about scale. So, quite looking forward to it. And you know, while we talk about different Different all, all things you know, story blog or headless CMS. We do have plenty of resources which we are going to go through into this workshop. We are going to talk about headless CMS, what it is all about, what is story blog, atomic design, and a lot of other things. So, we do, uh, we do have a proper kind of you know, notion sheet page where everything is listed so that you do not you know, lose the track of it and you know, you can just keep following the blog. While we are going ahead with this workshop, and uh, yeah, I guess it's pretty much, pretty much awesome one. But I still remember, I for the first time when I was watching this workshop, it was October last year. That was like the first time I was constantly uh, looking at the you know, blog. And uh, after after then, I've joined the blog. I'm working here, and the journey has been great. But because we are here and we are here. Yeah, we definitely have another talk about how how things work with story blocking we have talked together and that's something definitely worth it for me. What do you think? Yeah. yeah, definitely. I mean I'm really looking forward to the session because uh, again we, we have a complete notion page ready for you. So we'll we'll see what you know, like like how the workshop structure is, and we'll be covering a lot of good things, I think, because you know, like atomic design is something which is very uh, uh, which is very unique, which is very nice, and you can build uh, very scalable websites with that, uh, uh, scalable apps with that, uh, to be specific. Uh, and again, headless is something which we love. So 
So, uh, so we, we are going to be covering that and, uh, you know, like using headless, you can pretty much do anything you, you want to, and you can go omni channel and stuff like that. So we'll be covering each and everything. We'll be talking about, uh, uh the benefits of headless, uh, and, you know, like we'll compare it to monolithic and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, really, really looking forward to it. I think maybe we can, uh, start now, maybe Sid, what do you think? Awesome. The zoom will affect the I think I think uh, Pranesh is also joining us for uh, I mean in person uh, uh, at React India. So I think we'll be seeing Pranesh around super soon. Uh, I hope you you have uh, I mean you arrived to Goa, Pranesh. Uh, let us know. Let us know if you're already here. Uh, we we can definitely catch up after after we finish this workshop. All right. So moving. On. Um, But it's it's clickable, so so no worries. Me, I mean, I tried to click it, and it's it's working. So yeah. And let's end on it. Like, look at all the I hope it's it's a good reaction. But perfect. Uh, the plan is that we're gonna take like one and a half hour with the workshop, where we get to everything we have in store for you, and then we'll do some part. Some kind of question answers where you can all um, uh, bring up questions. 
Sure, thanks, Sid. I'll just zoom in a little bit so I can see the workshop, uh, uh, you know, description to to go on. Um, all right. So, uh, so I mean, since since this is React India, so uh, what we are doing is we are going to be, uh, you know, we are, we. Uh, I mean, you you probably already are using React and you already know what what React is and how powerful it is. Uh, but in case if you if you don't know, I mean, uh, React is something. I mean, it's it's a, it's a pretty awesome library. Uh, a lot of enterprises, a lot of uh, people are using React. It's 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 the I mean it's it's the most famous one in the communities and and uh, with the with the beginner, uh, with the uh, with the beginner uh, with the beginners as well. So because because of the learning curve and everything. So so yeah, uh, we'll be we'll be conducting this workshop with React itself, and you probably are hearing about uh, headless as well because we have been talking out about it a lot. So so yeah. Uh, so what we'll be doing is we'll be seeing what headless is. Uh, we'll be we'll be uh, building a small, I mean you know like like not not very complicated. We'll be building a little small uh, website using React and Storyblock, which is again a headless CMS, and we'll see what what it is. Uh, I'll just guide you to the uh, I mean the the points which we have in uh, like which which are mentioned over here. So we'll be covering what atomic design is. It has amazing slides on on what at atomic design is, and it'll be going through atomic design and pretty good detail i guess uh, and then we will see the headless cms world like what is headless we'll we'll see uh, how it is different from monolithic then uh, after after we are done with that we'll do our environment setup uh, with react and then we'll be integrating story block in react and then uh, we'll be we'll be creating a couple of pages like home page then blog pages feature article page uh, or component maybe maybe something like that let's see let's see where the where the workshop takes us uh, and in the end we'll be uh, Deploying it on Versal, so so yeah, I mean uh, that is again going to be fun. So we'll be deploying it uh, here itself uh, on on Versal, and then in the end we'll have a Q and A section. So so yeah, we'll be we'll be answering any questions you have. Uh, but yeah, uh, you can you can uh, anyways ask any questions you have even in the chat right now. So we'll be we'll be happy to answer those uh, in case if you if you want to know uh, about uh, I mean in case if you want to know anything about uh, React in case if you want to know anything about what headless is because I mean we'll be we'll be covering that but in case if you have any questions uh, or queries or if you have any feedback for Storyblock or if you, uh, I mean let us know if you have been using Storyblock or you know like like something like that and let us know if you are already familiar with headless uh, so yeah let's uh, so yeah I think I think yeah let's let's do that and uh, I think. Uh, Sid, I think over to you now. I think you can. Uh, I mean, I'll, I'll just go over the requirements as well because uh, that's that's. Uh, I mean, uh, not not a lot, but yeah. Uh, in case if in case if you're following us or in case if you want to follow this uh, workshop after uh, after being recorded or I mean, in, uh, even if you're following it right now, what uh, you need to have in case if you're live coding with us, uh, you just need to have Node.js installed and you need an, a, a GitHub account for for deployment. I mean, we'll be deploying it on Versal using GitHub. As far as I remember, yes. So I mean, you you can do it without it as well, but it makes it very easier. So we'll be doing it with GitHub, uh, uh, and yeah, I think uh, just just a little of uh, you know like like if if you are a little familiar with React, that that can be a great help because again, we are going to be doing it with React and everything about Storyblock. It's is something that we're going to cover for you. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, back to you, Sid. And uh, just to note, we already have shared the link in the chat. Uh, the color of the link looks similar to the background, so in case I know if it is it, that is obvious. Go ahead and click on it. I'm not sure why it's is that the thing, but this, this is what it is. <laughs> or, or what you can do is, uh, it will do one click, just move. Yeah, copy uh, this link. I'll just remove this PDF so that it breaks the link. But you can copy this link and I'll uh, add to the or uh, add to the free tab to be uh in case you're joining from that because of you are because of the whole workshop. I would recommend all the journey from you all after or like now or any other place where you can code it. Right? Or or maybe yes. <laughs> Or maybe you can have your own Raspberry Pi controller on which not on some next time devices. So yeah, <laughs> you can run it from everywhere and anywhere. Uh, from anywhere you can. 
But moving on, we do have good play, good one for news for you to do it with. Of course, starting with our website, swellblog.com. So if you haven't checked it out yet, go ahead and check out. We do have a bunch of things which we have listed over there. You know, you need to know how to blog around swellblog. It is, it is over there. So yeah, go ahead and get started as this button says. And, you know, you'll find a lot of tutorials, guides, documentation inside, something inside that you look, for, look out for, especially with Sony Blog, because we have done it in much detail form. So it becomes very easier for someone who is just getting started to walk, just walk through that uh, piece of documentation and you know, uh, understand it is for. And you do have the learning hub that has been created by us and now we're learning by Sony Blog. And this, this will just help you better do it. So each level thing so you can have to offer you know like the guide, editor guide, technology hubs, all the great documentation which you would ever do. Uh, the technology hubs are like super amazing. All the technologies you work with, we have it with us at Soil Club. In case you you find something missing, you know who to talk to. We are always here to hear from hear any kind of advice, feedback, or suggestions which our community have. So feel free to find us uh, at any point, at any moment during the workshop or maybe after that as well. And in case you're a beginner, we do have beginner tutorials as well. So make sure you do not hesitate before the hunt gets started. And uh, you can find us online on Twitter. You can find Chuck it at Aurora Chuck it. And uh, find me at Sadatan Mr. Hats. We are always here. You can get out of live feed about this workshop. We do have some surprise people on our side, which I'm going to be up with. And uh, Follow us on Twitter, and share a lot of things over our platform, which we would definitely not want to miss. All right, so back to the notion. Uh, we have all the links. You can check out the React documentation, the React Technology Hub, uh, introduction to atomic design, which I'm going to start in just a moment. Uh, we are going to walk through this particular slides, which we have. So, in case you want to go, you know, just check out the slide and follow now. You can find the link uh, over here on the table. Tell me about all the things which we are going to use today, uh, all this in this particular video. So, uh, Shakit, do you have anything before we actually start with the workshop schedule? Uh, uh, yes, definitely. What what I think I can do is maybe, uh, uh, you know, like we, we can show the uh, final thing that we're going to build. So, uh, I mean, uh, I'll share my screen or maybe you can just go to the uh, deployed link version. I mean, uh, uh, link to the deployed version over there. Uh, uh, that's that's the last one in the resources, I guess. So, yeah. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, this is something which which we are going to build today. Uh, this this is just a simple blog website, as I mentioned. Uh, you know, we we have a navbar, we have a footer, and then we have the main content inside. That is like you can see the hero section. Then we have a couple of blogs. So uh, I think you can go on any of the blogs as well, um, or or article. I mean, whatever you prefer. Uh, so yeah. Uh, oh, I was I was just afraid that it was not going to work <laughs> when it showed loading for a while. Uh, but yeah. Uh, this is this is what uh, this is somewhat what we are going to build. Uh, there is this about page as well. Then there is this block page, which uh, I mean, you know, like if if you go uh, there from the top, uh, there is this blogs. Uh, I mean, blog page as well. So we'll we'll be building all of these pages. Yes, it works. Uh, we'll be building all of these pages, and you know, like we'll we'll see how easy it is with with story block. And yeah, I think that's uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, we'll be again. I mean, using uh, a story block, we'll be using the headless approach, and we'll uh, we'll we'll be building that with uh, with story block itself. And it's it's just a little blog website. We'll do a little of coding. So as I mentioned before, get ready for fun and bugs. <laughs> uh, back to you, Sid. Yeah. Night before, but you know, it's all it's all good because uh, the thing is that we love story block a lot. That it, it feels like you know it's it's something we have we have been doing for quite some time, and you know, it's, just, it's just something we uh, love. But yeah, going back into the video, there will be that introduction. We will chuck it just for you for the video of the night. We have announced it in this workshop, so. Do you get that as well? Follow us in case you do that. Just go ahead now. In case you have somewhere, ask any question in the chat. We have to answer that. And while you're doing that, maybe we could find.
find a way you could prepare something new isn't it you know so it's it's like of course there's an end product which we are looking to build but it's also important to learn from the experience that those is not going to be the same so while we build it and reaching the final or the end result we're going to do a lot of stuff in in between as well like that let's see what what something what is something we can learn from it what's the best uh, outcome we can get from the entire journey All right then. So moving on, it says introduction to the atomic design, and for that I guess I'll jump onto my slides. And uh, you know, with, with atomic design, it's something which is very basic, but this is a very important uh, for anyone to understand that whenever someone gets into such things, it's also a fundamental thing for for all of us to understand. You know, because while we build, you know. big and scalable websites it's also crucial for any of us especially developers to understand what what's the core of it where, where is it coming from what's so clean uh, the way the way it looks right now so moving on to the design to be have this thing in our uh, slide as well and what i'm going to do is if i just click on this slide show uh, we have already done the introduction they are going to do So we brought a lot of cool things for you know for the Indians are not even like we are giving them a package for a subscription uh, at Story Club. So in case you are looking for this, I personally use a package for IO and I definitely now we have to invest in the package for IO subscription for for all the people who are watching this live. The only thing you need to do is read using our search to the blog to do that. You can tag it to the blog, you can tag and put it to the underscore India. And once you do that, just you know enter the keyword on the free box page. So if I if I show you quickly, it is on the tag in our box page. If you go up and down to the free box page, you can just directly enter the keyword from. So once you do that, we will we will get your Entry and then uh, we can reach out to you if you get some idea of it. If you would come to learn more about this, I can provide the description. Cool, isn't isn't that interesting? I am sure that you all would be looking forward to this. And uh, because I use the user interface on subscriptions, I know what the value that brings. Uh, and that you know I can put it on the table. So all the videos are in that place. But I am I'm not going to take much of your time um, with this, and I'll directly jump on to the actual thing for which we are here, right? And I put my screen so that you visible to each and every one of you, uh, because I'm going to move ahead. And even before jumping onto the what Adam is saying, let us watch this small video and understand the main topic, or maybe just get as This is not a music thing. It's a way to all this to be joined with us. If you want to come here. But definitely, I mean, uh, I, was, I was about to say, I mean, this this video is pretty awesome. So, uh, you know, like you'll you'll see from where we are getting the atomic design thing, and you know, like uh, uh, you'll 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 get to know a little more. uh like like why we are talking about the atomic design and you know like uh, this is this is something which is i mean the video is a little of uh vintage sort of uh vintage sort of video which which you can you know which you can see and with, you you'll, you'll just get to know. i mean it's it's just here for building a little hype about atomic design so that you know how how i mean what it is why why do we require it and stuff like that I'm not sure if the video was nicely visible but anyways uh Sid will take over and he'll be showing you a great great sort of things Yeah, but I guess you know there was uh it, it was like big thing, but I guess then you get you get the gist of it, right? But jumping onto what the comic design is, so if if we go to basic, it's like when we used to study in school, we had this chemistry subject, you know, there's like uh structuring of the elements of life, and where you know we used we were taught that it all starts from basic. Things like adding molecules and stuff like that, and then it just comes together and it comes 
you know, things come in life. <laughs> I'm, I'm very bad at chemistry, by the way. So I'm not going to teach all of those things uh, in this particular workshop. But something which I have with similar, on, on similar lines, which comes along with atomic design, especially while we have in this workshop is something I'm going to focus on. And uh, while, I, while I'm doing that, let us understand what is atomic design. I'm not a chemistry thing I'm talking about because I am bad at that. But what I'm good at is explaining you what atomic design is for in, the, in terms of design and systems. So it's like if we go very basic, it is a methodology for creating design systems. You know, how does design work? Uh, what's something you should keep in mind? You know, what's the first step? What is the next step? What's something which you can keep on top? The method of understanding all of these things. You know, the method where you derive what goes first and what goes next and how things just come together to clarify is something which we call it call atomic design as and as the craft of web design continues to evolve every day we find a lot a lot of things which keeps on updating right around the around web technology so we do our recognizing need to develop some thoughtful design systems right it's not something that we go uh, open and we have spread something out of nowhere right we do need some design systems for ourselves so that we can keep a track of our what we are building, why we are building, and what's the agenda of it? Is it something we are building for a cause? Is it something we are building on a moment? What is, what is that? I mean, why is that? So rather than creating a simple collection of web pages, we do need to focus on the design system as well. And that is where atomic design comes into the play because it allows you to just structure the system, uh, uh, the design system for for your for your time. but should we start small right it's it's very important before we see the bigger picture for us it's really important to check out the small things which happens behind the scenes you know there's always a story behind uh, something which gets started so let's start basic let's start very small and when i say small let's start with atoms so again taking the reference from the chemistry atoms are basic building blocks and same is the case uh, in web interfaces as well so while you're applying the atomic design to web interfaces you can consider atoms are are you know estimate tags which can be something like input text field or or anything else which is like super basic so that is what we'll say you know just denote which we denote as the atom and what's what's the next after atom we do have one two right so Molecules are nothing but a group of atoms, right? Which are bonded together. So it's like when we talk about molecules with web perspective, it is a group of atoms, which means the estimate acts of basic things, and it's just bonded together to the smallest phenomenon. So now when we bring the text field or the button together, you can we have a mind search form. And now we are able to do something together. I guess I don't yeah i was i was just i was just looking over there and I, I don't think your slides are changing i mean it's still on the atomic design for me so okay. i'm not uh, i'm not yes now now we are on the molecule so i think maybe you you uh, you you miss the atoms part as well so if you can you know like just just show the people sure. the slides and uh, yeah so sure. i'm still in the part in this it's i'm gonna all right, so as I said, let's start small. And when I say let's start, start small, I'm definitely going to start. First of all, okay, then I'm going to start fresh. But they start small, of course, and that's a good thing. And uh, I was thinking about the atom, you know, it's like very fundamental in it. So, in our case, when it comes to web, you can see the estimate tag, you know, uh, like input period, all but and I don't know if it's like starting from the while we start going. And moving on, we have molecules. So now when we come together or look together, we combine together with these small atoms, or basically, for example, we have this combined six way, I think, but six way is something where we can get fever and butter is like the search. And when, when we combine that, 
we see that this is the search firm, and now we are able to do something to get an idea. And what what the stuff is in quality? It is the audience. So it's like good stuff molecules. So now we join the molecules together. It forms a very complex section, right? And it's it's a section of an interface. Now if you watch closely, the search form molecule is combined with an application molecule to form a header audience. Now it's like now we have an entire you know, uh, you know, I mean, it's home or not, but I want to have the interaction, the interaction, and now we need to bring all of this together. This looks, this does look much more simplex, but if you think that this is not going to be exposed, then we need to go ahead and do another one, which is template. Now, template has its most uh, groups of organisms stitched together on the internet, and it's your know, Start to be a design company together and then so if you might have noticed, we already you know see a page where different pattern concepts come together and you know we start with structure we start seeing you know a pattern on our page. so that is where template comes comes into the play and still there's something missing with it now if you if you think you know about it there is there is the time and this would be uh something that uh, it's, it's like filling the gap you know <laughs> template is something we can choose use and just share uh, anywhere but to make we need to what do we need any guest we need pages right so pages are specific in some kind of pages now here we take out the content that's not just measurement that you have the content so that it's not what you put it the dimension of what a user, of what someone who's building this will ultimately see. So this is how it will look like. So it's like atoms, molecules, what what was the other thing? Uh, uh, the flow is atoms, molecules, organisms, templates, pages, and this is this is how it looks like. So it started with the basic uh, building blocks, you know, it's to that part and we Brought together things like a search form and then bar, then a template, and now we have a complete page which we see. So the point is, before reaching to an end point, we do follow an atomic design, which allows us to structure each and everything step wise and let ourselves understand that while we are building the web design, it's really important for us to focus on small little things and you know just put back. But before moving to it, and uh, I think that it's important. Uh, yes, I was I was just about to mention you. Know, like I mean, uh, we will be talking about the advantages, but uh, just again, I mean, just just wanted to say that you know, with with atomic approach, you can achieve a lot of things uh, pretty easily. I mean, uh, it it helps you with reusability. So you know, like if if you're building small components, if you're building small atoms, and you know, like if if you're building from uh, down to top, it, it's going to be it's going to be uh, you know like very very useful because you can uh, reuse these components. So for example, if there is a button, maybe you know like like uh, if if there is a button, I mean we'll we'll talk a little more about it while we you know while we play around with the code uh, 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 to to reuse the components. But let's say you build a button, right? And uh, I mean you can you can use that button at a lot of places uh, with with just the content getting changed. Then we have molecules. So once we once we combine that, I mean Sid already showed you how how. Uh, cool that looks so you know like in the end when we have templates uh, or even even when we have uh, uh, orgasm uh, orga organisms so it's like uh, i mean you can you can pretty much you know um, uh, what do we say uh, easily uh, easily do that uh, uh, just give me a second there is some on the uh, sorry um, yes yeah, so, so i was saying i mean when when you can you know when you when you have these uh, templates ready when you have these uh, components ready you can reuse them so you know like for example uh, when when we have this template you can use that for multiple pages. So, for example, if 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 we have a you know like for example, uh, uh, blog blog template ready. Just give me a second. Yep. I think there is someone. Just just give me a second. Um,
there was some technical sort of uh, issue. Uh, yeah, so as I was mentioning, like if you if you create these, um, what do we say, uh, uh, sort of block templates, then you can reuse it for you know more of your pages. Like you can create multiple blogs out of that. So I mean, if if once the template is ready, you can use it again and again over and over. So uh, even even for example, if you are you know like having a card component, grid component, you can use it over and over again. Uh, back to you, Sid. I think we are having a couple of glitches. I mean, uh, I think Sid's internet went off. Is it? Is it? Awesome. It's it's on as he says to me. Is it? Is it on? All right. Awesome. So 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 sorry for that interruption. No, my, my Wi-Fi was like I had like the battery was in the lower seat, but now I, uh, I'm so sorry. But anyway, why should we go for automatic? You know, it's like something I explained in the start. Chuck it all started some points over here, but it's optimized. Why is it necessary? You know, why is something we should look out for? And uh, I'm going to go ahead and visit the websites. First thing that you can understand is like you can use atomic to allow us. To reuse uh, what we have so, and uh, it okay, it's all about uh, it. And it's also nice to organize in components. So, but while we build the website, we actually love it really uh, follow this thing. Um, it has much like story and blocks, you know. So, organizing something complex is, uh, is, is a crucial or very easy for you to just go ahead and. Uh, Keep in mind that you have to be building scalability is another point. You know, let's say if you are building a website, structure it well. If you have like all the components with yourselves uh, in the lab, you see where where the atoms are coming from, how to use the molecules, and all the things are in front of you. This is this is where you understand like how scalable your website could be, and easy to maintain for sure. You know, and all of these reasons are something which, of course, we can just go ahead and read out. But when you start implementing the web uh, thing along with the top design, that that's that one is necessary. So, anyone who is, who is building web pages, um, make sure you keep these things in mind and see the other feature which it has to provide. Again, in case you have, if you if you need to check out anything about the common design, we do have resources. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back to the page over here. And uh, the big time, it's, it's like really good content. When you want to check out what the design is all about, and it's like very well documented, documented, and it says all the steps and uh, how they work. Uh, we have taken the inspiration from this particular page itself. And then you're going to post Try and you know feeling this, exploring it on your own way, and you know just just find something which uh, is there for you. And it's like a one seventy percent pages, right? Which speaks a lot in detail of what atomic design is all about. And this, this is one thing. Second is this video which explains it, but in the form of video, and you know, it's it's like. To understand whatever I mentioned, you can find it in the in the video itself. And last is this anomaly design book. In case you are a book reader, this is where that trust you can always check out this as well and um, order it, order the ebook or just start reading right and This is uh, like the resources which you can always look out for around the book atomic design. Cool. Case if you have any questions about the atomic design, about anything with respect to this workshop so far, feel free to drop this down in the chat. And uh, just getting back to the chat screen, okay, if we don't have it as a copy in case you have, feel free to drop those uh, over here. I see Chuck has some information. Uh, yes, yes. I was, I was just about to say, let's, you know, let's, let's take a little five-minute break for this as well. I mean, uh, uh, we can, you know, we can, uh, we can, we can interact. Uh, with everyone, I mean, we, we can wait if, if if anyone has any questions. Uh, you can you can check your tweets uh, if if you want to. Uh, so yeah, uh, uh, let's. Uh, I mean, uh, after this, uh, Sid will be covering the headless. I mean, the headless world and how headless looks like. Then he'll be showing you what story block is and you know like 
how you can use Storyblock. We will be showing you how it is easy. I mean, how easy it is. I mean, we we have a little video over there for you, which you know, which which will show you how easy it is to uh, integrate Storyblock with React. So so yeah, I mean, and I hope that this uh, atomic design. Uh, I mean, these atomic design slides and workshop, it was it was pretty helpful because, again, as I was mentioning before, you can pretty much build up everything from, uh, you know, like, like I mean, you can build reusable components. I mean, Sid already talk, uh, spoke about the benefits, uh, but if, if you uh, go with uh, that approach, you can build pretty amazing websites and, you know, it, it gets, uh, I mean, if, if your components are getting reused and stuff like that, uh, you... I mean, it's, 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 a, it's a neat code and as well as, you know, you can, you can scale pretty easily. I mean, you can change uh, uh, whenever you want to so you know like you you have a good design system in place uh so yeah i think uh maybe uh maybe uh, pl please let us know if you have any questions in the in the chat itself um uh, yeah i think i think maybe we can uh, uh move to the headless thing and maybe i can just uh go around and get some water for us meanwhile meanwhile you are covering the headless slides uh so yeah uh, i'll be just right back in in two three minutes all right see you okay all right or trying to use uh, and uh, you know, it's like nobody has that famous model. This is something I've been thinking a lot about recently, and uh, of course, after I joined Sojibar, this is something that's still not as very interesting thing, especially for me, you know. And uh, so that once I start explaining about what it is all about, if you are aware, unaware about it, you would love it too. And then we'll jump on to what stone block is. Of course, it's the same as what, what we want that. So I'm gonna clear on the point or concerns about this game. How's the thing? What's the life of it? And what is in store for you on the joining? So should we should we already jump onto the sites for this? If yes, just give me a heads up in the chat. Maybe you are yes or or something if you have if you if you want one way, something like that. Just if you are perfect. That, that, that allows you to see that you all are with me uh, in this workshop. Thank you so much for staying, staying with us. Cool. Eh? I just saw this amazing and now you know about what the headless CMS world looks like or how the headless CMS world looks like. And just on the side. I hope you can see. So, before actually jumping on our headless CMS, I would love to, you know, add some light to what the CMS is. You know, so from from a technical point of view, or uh, or if we just understand what monolithic CMS is, as you can already see, it is often called monolithic or regular or a coupled system. Now, what does that mean, right? This is something like some keywords which we are using, but no. It, let, let's understand monolithic in a much more technical point of view. So let's say, you know, there's a local database where the content is stored and then there's like a content management backend which helps us to create or update the content. Now what happens is that a predefined set of technology and structure uh, that developer use is forced to use like, to create the content with like this. So it's like there's a backend and there's like a local database. and Local database with the content is sold, and then it's a CMS which is in the market where you are just creating and updating uh, all, the, all the content. So, what happens is that if you reuse of, reuse of the content is like there for different systems, and this is needed to create or you know, this, this is something that is really needed to create it, and or it, if it's something which is on the available system, so it's sometimes. It's very hard to mix up with other systems. For example, you know, there's like any existing e commerce or product which has a database, so it becomes difficult for, for us to just mix things up. So that's that is one of the whole thing. Uh, so uh, and if you see this particular, you know, flows are happening, you can see how it is, you know, very dependent on each other. You know, there's, there's like the entire Everything connected uh, together, it becomes pretty difficult for you to see or add things along the line. So, the example is more like it be WordPress, which most of you know, but very good to know that this is a monolithic CMS. And what is this monolithic? It's really important. 
to see what's the better version. Everything do have like a better version, right? So here comes the LS statement. And the reason why we are solving it over here, because it is ending. So if I need to go with the definition, a headless DMS is a backend only content management system, which is you know, just built on the cloud as an audit repository that makes content accessible via a RISC API or GraphQL API, you know, and it allows you to display on any device. So while we talk about a headless approach, we would definitely want to thank it because you know with this you gain the freedom of having your own content be consumed by just like different platforms across the across the globe. It could be like you know while we are in this digital world, uh, we do not need to worry about how it looks on different devices or different platforms. Also, uh, while I was talking about the uh, monolithic CMS, you know, uh, or, or it CMS, it's like a headless CMS it le itself, you know, does not differentiate between presentation layers or prefer a filtering over your filtering technology. So that is where the difference actually comes in. But to understand it right, in much more uh, deeper way, whoops, did I just forget to uh, show you the slide? I was just about to say that and yeah. but i thought you you had something else in your mind no, now that we have it a bit uh feel free to give this a look you know it, it says like using the same body to support any number of different heads so it's like headless you know this this is how it sounds like and if you if you might have noticed the, there's an entire difference with monolithic and headless cms uh, flow chart instruction so that is where the magic happens right and even moving ahead, we do have this comparison with monolithic as well as headless CMS. So yes, of course, it is decoupled content and backend. Like I'm talking about headless CMS over here, or like what is something better in headless CMS than monolithic CMS. So yes, it is decoupled frontend and backend. It can complete two separate things. So in case you're working on frontend, you can work on frontend independently or on the backend at the same time. Flexibility is something which I definitely look out for. Because I do not need to get stuck on on some uh, weird things, uh, it has to be very flexible for me, for my favorite technology, you know, for for any platform I'm working with. Third is the UX and first class citizens. I personally prefer headless for that because if you are not able to, you know, welcome your users, you know, it would be I think that that's not something that would um, very I would satisfied with and only time. In case you know, it's like I am doing it for like for multiple platforms. I would need a an omniscient, right? Something I did for my platform might be safe for all the platforms as well. So, omniscient is something which I definitely look out for while I'm having headless CMS conception on that. Who? Enough of headless CMS. Now, let us understand what is the headless CMS you would ever need. And when I say that, the answer is simple. Story block. It is the last headless CMS you will ever believe me when I say that. Story block is the only headless CMS with a visual data. You know? It provides developers with all the flexibility they need to build, uh, build, build reliable and fast websites. And at the same time, it also allows or you know, give content creators with no coding skills the ability to add the content independently of the developer. Oh, enough of me speaking. I guess I have to take a cup of water before I move anywhere ahead. But I guess if you have any questions around headless CMS or still be off, let me know in the chat. Or if everything looks good, if you just give a heads up, a thumbs up, uh, so that I can move ahead to the slides. Perfect. Cool. In that case, besides headless and mosaic, what are the other forms of CMS? So it's like while we understand the CMS space, it's also very important for us to understand why it is for you know. And uh, for now, what we usually do is you know, we just keep things simple as like monolithic and headless. Because I, 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 I,
something which uh, you know is like it, it allows everyone to you know create good experiences for people out there and specifically talking about it and so it's like giving you the best digital experience yes. so uh, as I mentioned you know, when, when we need to understand one of the different forms of CMS I feel that it's it's very much subjective like for, for people, the CMS can be of different kinds. Uh, uh, what's, what's our use case is because there's like a lot of things on which you know it is divided. So many times it's about the, the components you're working with, or it's like you know is it like the web, the assets, or only else about it as well. But I feel like I, I would just keep it simple along. The lines of and it is because while we talk about the kinds of CMS, again, it's very from different perspectives now. What the algorithm is for, or what the algorithm is using, or is it actually just you know uh, a graph user uh, interface or for your for your product or something like that? So I would distinguish it from monolithic CMS only, but if you are uh, on, like, on subject basis, I'm not getting the right word on it, but it would be more of like the wisdom of the kind of goal you want. But I would say that's something I'm presenting. I hope that makes sense, but I, I would not even get the right word for it. But yeah, only necessarily only. Good. Uh, what was that? Oh, moving on with the slide. You might be wondering that who can use Storyblock, right? Because, yeah, Storyblock is for CMS. It is for developers out there, for content creators. But is that all? Uh, who, who, who else can use it, right? And now, when we ask this question, we do have a bunch of roles you know, where, where Storyblock comes into play. So now as you can see on the screen already, it is for everyone actually, right? And if you remember, a little earlier I mentioned that, so headless CMS is for everyone. But now if we understand this with the story block perspective, it does help you to take control of the content, right? And at the same time, it allows you to just keep everyone on the same page or just make an edit or do a publish. But talking about different roles individually, let's start with the developer. So the developer, I guess, the first thing which definitely comes with her mind is technology support. And story about less CMS do have endless or limitless technology support. You know, and I would definitely prefer a CMS that works with all the tech, all the technologies, content networks, and you know, some, some something with all my projects. So call it a jazz or a cloud native story box of And uh, if I guess I wanted to mention the, in the previous part of this workshop, we do have a limiting work uh, within which we have a technology that we do the videos, all the days, the tutorials, all the teachings in one place. So, yeah, go ahead and check it out as well. Who else is it for? It is also for marketers. You know, it's like you can always, you know, you can publish and add your content everywhere. Which is so, even if you have mobile app, Corporate and website, digital signage, and beyond. I ha I see that there's something to add. Go ahead. Yeah, so I was I was also about to mention about the marketers that you know they can schedule the content uh, for for future. So in case if you have marketing campaigns, uh, let's say uh, if if something goes live on every Friday or if something goes you know like like maybe you have Christmas campaigns, maybe you have uh, Diwali campaigns or any anything like that. So that can be pre-scheduled. Uh, I mean that can be scheduled for the future so so yeah it's 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 an amazing tool for marketers as well uh, and Sid as, as Sid was mentioning about the omni channel support because in today's world uh, you know like the user is looking out for uh, 
uh, the same content through through different devices, be it smartwatches, be it uh, mobile applications, be it websites, or be it any any other form. So so omni-channel support is very important because you know like we we need to. I mean the user need to see. Um, Use, I mean, you you want your user to see the similar content depending upon the user, uh, be it, be it uh, you know, like, I mean, the, the personalized content depending upon the user and so on. So it's it's definitely uh, very, very good for marketers as well. Uh, back to you, Sid. Uh, before that, I went out for water, but I got something even better, that is coffee, uh, as as we are going to code. So uh, coffee is really necessary. Uh, back to you, Sid. Well, of course, we have talked about developers, marketers. What's next? Enterprises. Yes. Uh, leading enterprises today do use your blog to share and manage their content with the world out there. And a lot of people call them creators or the editors, you know. It's like such a better way to organize the content. And when we talk about story blogs, it does help content editors focus on their job itself and they can just manage, create, and publish their content everywhere right from mobile apps, phone sites, corporate websites, and much more. Hence, we can confirm this that story blog works for everyone, isn't it? And even beyond this, it like goes beyond this. Uh, if you find yourself in any other role apart from these four, it is definitely going to work for you because while well, well, we say that it is, you know, like for everybody, you do need it. <laughs> so, yeah, why not? If you want to check out, do it in the blog right away. And talking more about story blogs, we would definitely love to give you a glimpse of how to visual editor, which we have. Uh, it's very good And it's, it's also like story blog do offer a unique combination of visual editing tools. And while I talk about those tools, they all are highly customizable content blogs, which are on top of like a modern editing marketing tool. And this gives developers all the flexibility they need to build fast and elaborate platforms. And, you know, I would like to make one more thing that our unique community approach even allows you to use or, you know, just, just utilize your extra content in the world of technology. Because while I'm building on top of something, it really becomes important for me that even with that's in the half of the hour. I have ones which I can use by myself and build on top of that. So that adds a lot of uh, value and it's like a flexible and super easy to go ahead and do it. And I'll show you a quick kind of uh, video where you can understand how things work. So just like a company too, where you see it's like there's a few parts. We add text, you know, we have all these subsections, we add a button, and then we just, you know, add a text to that button. But we are going to explore more of it in the, in the live, in the live, where we are going to build the blog page, as we touch up in the next time. So, yeah, check out our technology hub on that note. I guess I have already mentioned this, but in case I haven't, just gonna walk you through this technology hub. So whatever technology we're working with, Nux, Nux, Gatsby, View, React, well, the view means just the time below this page and the fun things we have with friends. See, we have it almost in case you find something missing, feel free to reach out to us. We have to add and the technology to our technology hub. So go ahead and And now so okay, we present story blocks with React. I do have an interesting video right after this, but I am a bit concerned about if that would be played with the video or pop up with the sound. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna stop playing at this point and share again with the with just the tab and uh, oops, just a little bit. I'm going to go on the home tab and then slide and then share. And now we have this video and uh, that's how we present story about the app for you all. So, are you ready to watch this video? I hope you are because I'm going to play now. <laughs> 
one, two, and three. I must say you know, that the, the level of uh, this video was like super interesting. I, I still remember the first time I watched this video, I was like super hyped up about, about, about React with Swift. So <laughs> while the video you know, hyped me up a lot, I'm still waiting for you know, how how would I how, how much I would be hyped when I see the actual thing working together. But, Oops, whoops, 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 whoops. <laughs> Now is the time to jump onto the code and spaces. And uh, if I go back to the Notion page once again quickly, so we have our team like this in this world, introduction to story blog, and all the things over here. Uh, in case, check it, if I miss anything, feel free to add it over here about, about the previous agenda of our version. Yeah, I think maybe we can uh, go over a little through the. Uh, I mean, I can I can share my screen and we can maybe go through the uh, uh, different APIs and stuff like that. I can talk about it for like a couple of minutes because you know that that would be a good introduction. Uh, then maybe we can go through the space creation as mentioned uh, in the in the agenda. So we'll we'll see how story block looks like and we'll see how the spaces work. What what does it mean? And then we'll start creating the components from scratch. Uh, we'll build a couple of basic components first uh, to you know that I mean. Uh, to show you how to integrate Storyblock with with React, and then we'll see the live editing feature, like how we can live edit and stuff like that. And once we are done with that, we can, you know, we'll we will be building that blog website which I showed you. So uh, I'll be I'll be you know uh, copying the stylings and stuff like that. So I'll I'll not bore you with with manually typing every style every every other thing. Uh, but yeah, I mean that that th this this can be a good start. Perfect. Well, it's based on would you need to share your screen? Yes. All right. Awesome. So I'll just start sharing my screen. I'll share the entire screen. Now we're going to be window inside window, but I'll just move on. Uh, let me know. Uh, where are we? Yeah. Uh, let me know if you, if you see the screen and stuff like that. Do you, do you see that? So I already have a couple of tabs open. I mean, open, but uh, you know, like I mean, uh, they are the ones which we will be will be looking at. Uh, I can just close this. Uh, Sid already is present in the workshop, so I can close this. Uh, yeah. So as I was mentioning about uh, the the APIs and stuff like that, so let's let's see that a little. Uh, so we we have a pretty great documentation, as as Sid mentioned. Like our team, uh, we we work on the documentation, and it's it's pretty well maintained. Uh, because you know, whenever I I get stuck with Storyblock, I uh, myself go through documentation, and everything everything gets uh, cleared up. Uh, so yeah, uh, I was I was talking about I mean uh, you know like like we have a couple of things. So for example, uh, we we have these guides, and as uh, Sid already showed you, the technology hub you can use that with any of your technologies. Uh, but I wanted to uh, majorly show you this uh, that we have three APIs. The first one is the content delivery API. So this is the one which we are going to be using today uh, for, uh, for for getting the content from Storyblock. So since it's it's React, we can just use this uh, REST API. So this this is the uh, REST API we have. Uh, then we have, uh, I mean, let's let's talk about the GraphQL one. So it is again a read-only API with, uh, with you know, uh, I mean, uh, for for frameworks like Gatsby, for frameworks like uh, maybe maybe Gridsim, uh, of the frameworks they uh, which which you know like which which use the uh, GraphQL API, uh, the GraphQL structure. I mean, you can use it with anything, but uh, uh, I mean, definitely you can you know you can use it with something like Gatsby pretty easily. Uh, then we have the management API to you know like uh, to do. Uh, uh, like edits and stuff like that programmatically. So let's say you have, uh, I mean, you need to upload, for example, stories, you need to upload assets, you need to uh, manage a couple of things in your story block account, you can do pretty much everything with with, with the management API. So yeah, that's that's about it. So I mean, it, it'll be a little more clear once we you know, once we move on. Uh, all right, so uh, sorry, uh, then then let's let's now see how story block looks like and how how the interface looks like. So again, yeah, this is the landing website of Storyblock. So I mean, I already have it open. So let's just go over here. Oops. Yep. 
so this is the this is the landing page of uh, storyblock so this is storyblock.com you can again come over here you can find out the resources you can see about what what the product is you can see the developer guides editor guides and stuff like that uh, a unique feature that storyblock has i mean you can you can see it over here as well is is the visual editor so again uh, you know we'll we'll be seeing that as well so whatever you build is going to be there in the real time uh, i mean you can you can see the changes in the real time so uh, we'll be you know like we'll be doing it on the dev server so for example localhost 3000 something like that you can you know you can you can see how your components are working in case if you're adding something like that uh, all right so let's uh, let's log in i mean you can you can pretty much i mean you can you can sign up or you can log in depending upon if you don't have an account i mean you can sign up but since i have an account i'll just log in as soon as i log in uh, i go i get onto the screen so sorry for my internet i mean it, it looks a little slow but yeah um, yeah so this is this is my uh, you know like this is the overview of my uh, spaces uh, you can you can consider one space as one project for today but to be very specific one space can be considered as a one space can be considered as a, a, a content repository so you know like you can use one space with multiple projects you can use uh, multiple spaces with one project maybe you need to set up different environments and stuff like that so so yeah that that can be in place uh, all right so let's uh, let's you know let's uh, let's create a new space if if i'm not wrong yeah so so uh i mean uh, let's 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 create a new space let's see the demo like we we already have in place so i'll just create i mean we will create a new a uh, new space from here but let's uh, let's you know let's create an example space for now um so uh, if if i if i go over here let's uh, let's say uh, example space for react india a new space so right now what what's happening is i mean it's it's just a demo space with story block what we have already in place um it's it's something which is you know which is going to be uh, i mean which which is already maintained by storyblock i mean wh whenever you create this new uh, new space new example space uh, it is uh, it is going to uh, uh, already have a couple of components in place a couple of stories in place and stuff like that so you can you know like in case if you want to see how the visual editor looks like and stuff like that uh, you can you can just pretty much uh, go over here and look around so if i go inside the home story uh you'll see that this is this is how the home story looks like and you know like uh, the the live editing which i was talking about so you know like these are the components which which we have over here and i can click around anywhere and you know like the schema for that component is going to open up and this is how i can just uh pick in the live editing so even in case i want to copy paste uh cut paste or stuff like that or move around a couple of cards let's say uh, maybe i want to duplicate these three cards i can just do that and again this is going to be your code and you know we'll be we'll be seeing just in a bit how how it looks so i can just paste them over here and maybe now i want this to be the first card so i can just go over here make it like first card and you can see again the changes in in real time so this is how it looks and let's let's move it on the top because it is the first card so let's let's go over here and you'll see that this is how it it comes over the top so yeah we will be we'll be doing a little like this uh let's now uh let's now go back i mean uh let's i mean we can we can hit save uh but let's uh let's go back to the uh, you know like like uh, let's go back on adding a space again from right top so we'll be creating a uh i mean a a, a space uh, from from scratch so uh you know like like uh, like whatever you saw that was again pre deployed and stuff like that but let's let's build that from scratch so it's it's, it's going to be fun let's see uh all right so i'll just name the space react india dev version because i already deployed the prod version which we already saw uh let's let's create this new space and yeah uh, as soon as you create the space i mean uh, this this is the same interface which we which we saw over there uh you can directly uh, use this uh, i mean uh, uh, you you can you know use directly uh, you can you, you can copy this and you can just paste it in your terminal and that this is going to create a starter project for you but we are again going to do everything from scratch um all right so if i go inside the components uh, sorry the content you're going to see that we just have home story and i think in the home story we have two components right now you don't see anything uh, this is just you know again the quick start dot me story block uh, dot com uh, we we see that there are two components one is the teaser component and the other one is the grid component uh, so let's let's build this teaser component and grid component uh, inside our react project i mean uh, we'll we'll see around and then we'll modify these components and we are going to build Uh, more complicated components. So if I go again inside the block library, you can see that this is how the components look like. So right now we have four components. Again, uh, the first one is the page component, which is, uh, I mean, uh, which is a content type. So uh, with with story block, we have three different types of blocks or components. So uh, you know, like which the the one which can act as standalone page, story sort of thing. 
uh, I mean, we, we, we call it a story, not a page, because again, as I was mentioning, you know, like it's, it's, it's a headless concept. So you can use the same content for maybe uh, different, different uh, environments. Be, maybe, maybe you can be building an Alexa skill, or maybe you can be using that component on, uh, you know, like for example, a smartwatch or something like that. So it, it makes more sense that we call it a story. Uh, so yeah, if I, if I go on the block uh, again, so as I was mentioning, there are three types. Uh, we'll be will be building new blocks in a couple of minutes. Uh, but yeah, if I if I go over here, you'll see that one is the nestable one. So you know, like uh, the grid, the feature, the teaser, they are the nestable ones because we're using them inside other component. So uh, we are using inside the page component. Um, and let's let's go through the schema of these uh, these three. Uh, I mean, these three uh, these three components, uh, these four components, and let's see how they look like. So let's go over the page again because I mean this is this is the this is of page type. So if I go over here, uh, I'll just see if, if there is anything in the chat, maybe some question or something like that. All right, we we are we are good over here. Um, all right. So yeah, as I was mentioning, let's let's go through the schema for this particular. Uh, I mean, let's let's see the schema of uh, you know like these blocks. So if I go over the page, you'll see that there is one uh, field added. That is the uh, body field, and it is of type blocks. Uh, blocks is a special type so you know like there, there can be more fields over here we'll see just in a bit like like in in, in uh, i mean at this place um uh, so yeah as i was mentioning blocks is a special type and you can have like different types for example text uh, image section and, and stuff like that uh if i if i go over here again uh, uh blocks is something that is gonna you know allow you to have different uh, i mean allow you to have uh, nested components inside inside that particular field uh this is the reason you know like if i if i go over the uh, over the home story again you'll see that uh, we have this body, and then we are having more components inside this body, more blocks inside this body. So uh, we we can add similarly more components over here. Uh, let's quickly see the um, uh, schema for teaser because that's the first component we see. So it's it's uh, it's a very um, it's a very easy component. I mean, you can see that it's it it just has this headline. Uh, then we have the grid. So grid has again, I mean, uh, the field name is columns, but it's of type blocks again. So you can add multiple blocks inside that. Uh, then we have feature over here. So feature again has just a uh, name field and, you know, like, uh, I mean, the, the, uh, the field uh, name is uh, name and it is, it is of type uh, text. So uh, what we'll need to do is now we'll need, I mean, we'll be creating a React app. Uh, let me see if I'm missing something. But yeah, we, we have like basic fields already in place. Uh, uh, we also see the home page content. I mean, we'll be building this hero, uh, the hero area and stuff like that. But let's, you know, let's create the React app first and let's, um, uh, let's let's see the components in action. Um, just give me a second. Uh, Sid, can you help me with the repository ones? I mean, uh, it'll be it'll be uh, really helpful. Uh, all right, so I'll I'll just start creating the project by then. Um, this is this the prod one by the way, and this is public as well. But you know, uh, I'm uh, this is the, this is the deployed version which we already saw. So we're going to be building this. Um, all right, so uh, let's uh, let's go back to the. Uh, um, I'll send. Uh, okay, no worries. I'll, I'll just. Uh, I'll just. You know, like I'll copy the complicated code from you. No worries. Um, all right. So uh, yeah, let's 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 create a React app and let's let's get in action. All right. So uh, let's get inside the workshop. I think I already have. Um, let me know if if the screen is a little. I mean, if if you want to zoom in or something like that. All right. You want me to zoom in? This is just something very. Uh, looks good. All right. Uh, so yeah, let's let's go over here. Let's paste. Oops, React India everywhere. Just give me a second. Um, mm, all right. Uh, let's let's create a React app. Let's create React app. Uh, let's give it a name. React India Dev uh, should be created in a while. Let's also open our Visual Editor, uh, sorry, uh, Visual Studio Code. And let's just wait for the project to be created with, with React. I mean, looks like my internet is like not not very fast right now. But uh, but yeah, I mean, it, it, it should just take a while. Uh, I mean, again, we, we are doing the live stream from, from, the, uh, from, from the venue itself. So, uh, you know, like, that's why we are sitting at different places. I mean same room but you know like that's why we are struggling with a couple of things like maybe you know like uh, internet and stuff like that um let's let's just wait for it awesome uh all right so now let's open this project 
up. If I go inside of the folder, let's go inside the uh, workspace, React India, and let's open the dev version because it's the dev version. Um, all right, let's uh, let's you know let's also uh, let's maybe uh, I mean let's let's clear it up. Let's install Tailwind first, and let's then uh, then you know like uh, then let's see. Uh, all right, so we can. All right, so uh, I mean, can you see that? Do I need to make it a little bigger as well? Uh, 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 do I need to make it a, big, a little bigger as well? I'll see on the screen. Uh, I cannot see. Can Sid? Can you can you help me? Or maybe maybe someone from the chat can you help me? Like if you see the screen. Is it big enough? I mean, this 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 code part, especially. Yeah, you can. It, it is good. All right, awesome, awesome. Uh, all right, so let's clear a few things. Like usually we do inside a React app. So so let's just do that. Let's you know let's let's create a heading first over here uh, to see if Tailwind is working. Um, let's hit save over here. Let's remove the logo. Um, Let's remove the testing stuff. We don't need it. Let's remove the logo as well. The Git repo is already uh, initialized, so that looks good to me. Uh, we are here. Let's clean this up as well. I just hope I don't do anything wrong because I'm trying to be super quick. Um, all right, let's uh, let's now install Tailwind as well. I don't see my terminal working nicely. I'll just reopen it. Looks good. Um, all right, so let's uh, go on to Tailwind's website and see how to integrate it with React because I, you know, I, I usually forget it, how to do it all the times. I'm on page itself. All right, so let's uh, install this. If it's happening, then it's um, let's create the Tailwind file as well. Awesome. We have we have the config now. Let's uh, change the config. Looks good. Oh, all right. I didn't do anything, but never mind. Um, all right. Then then let's also replace this. Um, re replace the CSS. I think we can. I think maybe I can get rid of it. Let's have this in place. So sorry for the for for this, but but you know it, it's it's gonna work hopefully. Um, so yeah, I think we can we can try this now. I think we can just uh, use this. Uh, where do we have it? Let's hit start, and maybe hopefully it. Uh, I mean, let's let's use a different port this time. Awesome, the tailwind is working super fine. So I'll just close this um, window, which is going to open up probably again and again when, whenever I restart it. Uh, then let's you know let's let's add this to story block as well. I mean because we don't see anything over here right now. So if if we if we go over here, we still see this. Uh, let's let's you know let's let's at least see what we have with our React app over there. Um, all right, so let's uh, let's go inside the settings, inside the visualizer settings, and we what we need to do is now we need to change this to localhost whatever we had so i think we had 3001 but we'll need to proxy it so that's that's just a little thing we need to do i mean we need to proxy it because uh, with uh, i mean uh, with with v2 now uh, uh, you know like http does i mean http doesn't work we need to make it https so we'll just proxy it uh, i'll just see which port are we running on so we are running on 3000 so i'll just proxy 3001 to um Three zero one zero. Uh -oh. There are a couple of things running. Um, oh, One second looks good. Should be working now. So let's uh, let's add local host three zero one zero over here, and let's see if we we at least see our website over here. Awesome. So we see we see the tailwind test. So like right now, this is again something which we are seeing. Uh, now comes the time when we, uh, you know, uh, create these components and integrate StoryBlock within within our React app. So let's 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 go over here uh, again. Uh, so so what what uh, I mean the the basic thing what we need to do over here is I mean um, uh, as Sid also showed you the video uh, th that is the uh, I mean you know like that's 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 the little thing that we need to do uh, to integrate StoryBlock. 
I'm not sure if the video was, you know, like streamed properly, but that's the only little thing that we need to do. Uh, before that, uh, I'd just like to you know, explain how, how the components and these things work. So uh, what happens is, I mean, uh, whatever components we have over here, they are supposed to be in your uh, React app as well, because again, it's, it's going to be your code. It's going to be your own stylings. Uh, so yeah, it's, it's going to be uh, something which, you know, which, uh, which which uh, which we need to create again and this is this is something we have uh, you know with with the headless architecture you have your own i mean you have things in your own hand and you can probably you know like change the stylings do whatever you want to do and it is again going to stay with you so however you want your components to be uh, it, they are going to be there so i mean uh, the previous space which we saw which was you know already deployed and stuff like that so uh, uh, maybe you, you might think that story block is a uh, page builder or something like that, but no, it's 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 a headless CMS. And the unique thing which we have over here is the visualizer. So I mean, unique uh, thing from from other headless CMSs, uh, we we have this visualizer which is you know which is gonna show you your live edits and stuff like that. Uh, just again, gonna see if we have any questions or something like that. Awesome. Um, all right, so now now let's uh, let's create these components or uh, let's let's integrate Storyblock first with uh, with our uh, with our React project, and then let's uh, you know create create the components. All right, so let's go back over here. Um, what you need to do is, I mean, what, what we need to do for integrating Storyblock with React is we need to um, uh, install one little package. So again, that is going to be npm install that, I mean, the package is called Storyblock React. So uh, I mean, we, we also have a vanilla JavaScript sort of library. Uh, but you know that I mean that requires a little more code, so you can pretty much integrate it with any of the JavaScript frameworks. Uh, but we also have SDKs over the top of of that vanilla library. So if we talk about React, we have that. If we talk about Vue, Nuxt, Gatsby, we we have uh, you know like SDKs for that. So it makes you work very little. So it's 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 somewhat like that. So let's install this, and I think we also need to install Axis uh, because under the hoods, I mean. We are working to remove access from here, but under under the hoods, uh, you know, like access is also required for uh, this uh, 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 this uh, this package to work. So let's install access as well, and I think we are good to go. So let's now make a couple of changes. Uh, if I go inside the index just uh, index .js file, we'll we'll you know we'll initialize uh, the 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 story block plugin over here. So uh, let's see. So what, what we need to do is install, uh, I mean, both story block in it over here and just initialize that. Uh, it takes, uh, I mean, it takes a couple of, uh, you know, plugin options, but uh, let's, let's, I mean, SDK options and stuff like that, but let's uh, stick with, uh, with a couple of, uh, uh, I mean, with the, uh, with a couple of ones which we need. So let's have access token here. So access token is something again, uh, space uh, specific as well as, you know, like uh, environment specific. I mean, you can have a preview token, you can have a public token and stuff like that, depending upon where are you deploying, or maybe if you're working with dev or prod version and stuff like that. Uh, so we'll just copy the access token from our. Oops. Oh no, that's working. That's that's the error from previous one. Uh, all right, so let's go back and uh, from the settings, or even from the getting started, you can grab this access token. Uh, let's grab it from the settings. So if I go inside the access tokens over here, you'll see that I have a preview token. I can generate a couple of more tokens if I like. As I was mentioning, you can have public token, uh, theme, and asset tokens as well. Uh, so let's let's have this preview token because again we are working with the dev version. Uh, let's then uh, you know like like to get the data from from Storyblock we need to uh, use the API plugin as well. So let's import that as well. And what do we need to do? Um, just uh, I think I'll I'll need to see the code. Uh, just just give me a second. Um, it should be somewhere here. Yeah, I mean, we may need to tell that use use the uh, API plugin, so it's it's there. And then you know we'll we'll also add the dynamic components which we are going to build. So it's not something that you know you'll need to uh, build in your. I mean, uh, it's not something that you'll need to make another file or something like that to um, to use the dynamic components because uh, these components which you know which we are building over here, uh, which we are which we are using over here inside the home story or any of the pages which we are going to create. Like for example, you know, we were able to move them around and stuff like that. Where we are able to add more components from here. So you know, like uh, uh, you, you need to tell your React app how to uh, render those because they are going to be there dynamically, right? So and this this is the power of headless and this is the power of story block because uh, you can add components dynamically from from uh, you know like once once you build the components, you can just add those and you can just play around and stuff like that. So uh, the the third argument which we are going to pass over here is the components. So once we create the components, I think then we are going to do that. 
Um, I'll just restart the server in a bit, but uh, let's uh, uh, you know let's uh, let's let's import. Uh, I mean let's import a couple of other things to uh, use. Uh, I think I mean uh, to to get the data from Storyblock. So uh, the the best thing I mean uh, the thing which I like about React is you know you don't need to do a lot of settings and stuff like over here. You can just uh, I mean we will just use this particular. Um, Page. I mean, this this particular app.js file to render all of the dynamic routes. So uh, let's. I mean, let's. Uh, I'll just get the code for it there. I mean, I'll I'll not bore you with the code again. I'll just uh, get it from the made file which I had. So it looks somewhat like this. We'll just uh, see what you know what it means in a couple of seconds and stuff like that. So if I go over here, I'll just replace the code. Um, what I'll do is, uh, I mean, we also have this layout and stuff like that. So I'll just comment that out for a, for for a while because we we don't have that created as of now. Um, all right, so I think we are good to go, and I'll also remove these things. Um, and I think we need to do we need to have this in place. Uh, so yeah, uh, what 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 we're doing right now is, I mean, uh, you know, like uh, again, we are we are using this use story block. Okay, I mean, this this is something which is gonna get the data from the api and you know like we can we can pass a couple of things over here so the first thing which you are doing is when when you know whenever any route is i mean whenever you see any of the routes what's going to happen is i mean uh, you know like if if it's not slash i mean if if, if the path name is slash we are, we're going to get the home story uh, otherwise we're going to you know like get that slug i mean whatever it is so if if it's a blog slash article one blog slash article two something like that uh, then we're going to have uh, you know like then we're going to have that slug in place uh, and then you know what what we're gonna do is we're gonna fetch the story from story block. So this is gonna help us uh, with fetching the data for that particular slug. So if you know like I can I can manually write in home over here, I can manually write anything. But as we want to make it dynamic, we we have this in place. So we are we are finding out what the slug is, and then we are fetching the draft version for that slug. But you know you can you can have a published version over here, and we'll see what other uh, you know like what other parameters we, uh, we we you know what what other arguments we can we can pass over here so right now we, we the first argument is slug or, or you know the part of the story uh, then we have the api uh, i mean the api options then the the last uh, the last uh, parameter is the uh, sdk options so so we can we can have that uh, thank you so much uh, all right so yeah uh, and and what what we are doing is in case i mean if if we have the story then we are uh, I mean, if, if we don't have the story, we are showing that loading thing. And if we have the story, we are using the story block component, as I was mentioning, you know, like with, with the SDKs, your work get very easy. Uh, it, it gets super easier and stuff like that. So what's uh, what's what's going to happen is, uh, you know, like, again, as I was mentioning, these these components are going to be there dynamically. So this story block component, which is, again, getting imported from story block React package, uh, like like the place from where we are importing new story block as well. Uh, this is gonna this is gonna uh, render all your dynamic components in a while. I mean, uh, uh, automatically, and you don't need to work a lot for that. Uh, then we also have this block prop. So this is gonna pass down the content what we are gonna get from the API, like from 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 this uh, you know like from this story, uh, what what we are gonna get uh, over there, uh, you know like uh, and, and it is gonna pass through through different uh, uh, different components. I'll just go over here. I'll see Sid is not back yet. Uh, all right. Uh, I, I was just I was just looking at the chat in case if we have anything. Um, all right. So let's go back to the let's go back to the uh, uh, to this page. So as I was showing, I mean, this is something which we have built, but we need this uh, story block. Uh, you know, like like we need this particular story to use these components and stuff like that. So we're gonna get the data. Uh, uh, and I was about to show you the JSON how it looks. So this is how you know you know you're 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 gonna get the data. So you can see that there is this. A teaser component first, and it it gives you the headline. I'm not sure if it's smaller, whatever. So so I mean, if if it's small or not. Uh, so I'll just zoom in. Yeah. So so you know you can you can use this. I mean you can see that this is the teaser which which has the headline. Uh, then you know there is this uh, columns field which uh, which which is you know like uh, which was which was coming from the grid component, and the grid component then has the three different features. Uh, so it kind of looks somewhat like this. Uh, if I if I open the grid feature and uh, you know like the teaser is just just one thing. And again, on the top we are on the page component. So if we see over here, there should be this component written page over here somewhere. Where is it? I'm not sure if I can find it. Yeah. So so here it is. So you so you can see that. And the, this is the information about the story. So this you know this says that the home. Uh, I mean it's, it's the slug home and stuff like that. 
um all right so uh, i'll i'll just now uh, go back and you know like what happens is i mean when when we are you know when we are initializing this uh, all of these things and stuff like that this is uh, uh, i mean this is this is uh, enabling the story block javascript bridge which is going to you know like uh, again which uh, 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 with, with the help of these uh, story block component and stuff like that that is going to allow you to edit those in real time uh, so we'll just look at that how that looks i'll just save this and I see a couple of errors. As I said earlier, get ready for the bugs and fun. Uh, all right, uh, we don't need this as of now. Do we not need this as of now? All right, so sorry. Uh, we'll need this. I'll just completely remove the layout just to make it a little better. So yeah, that's how that's how it looks. Um, let's also, oops, I'm not sure if we are live right now or if the Wi-Fi is still there. But you can see that the power went off. Uh, I'll just, I'll just. Is okay, awesome. So the net is working, and this is this is what we can do. Uh, no, that's that's fine. All right, it's it's back. Awesome. Um, all right, so let's let's go back to the code. Um, and what what I was about to do is I was you know I was just about to print the story. So if we get the story, we're gonna um, uh, let's 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 see how let, let's see first you know like if if we are getting the story. So the best way to debug. This, this is what we do. So let's save it. Uh, I think I'll need to restart the server if, if I'm not wrong. Uh, but let's go over on here. I saw loading. What? 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 How is it? Um, there is some sort of issue. I don't know. Did I copy the wrong token or something? Oh, all right. So this is the one which is already running. So this is the prod version. So sorry. Uh, all right. So. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's see if we got the story or if we got the error. So yeah, we see the story. At least we see something. So uh, now we know that you know we are getting the story like like the one which which we we have over here. So for example, like like we we are getting this data at least uh, inside our inside our React app. So you can see that again we we have the same thing. So this is the content. This is the body, which is you know like like the first thing is the page. Then inside the page, then we have these two components and stuff like that. So at least at least we are getting that. Um, Data. So let's now remove this, and let's now move on to creating the um, creating the components. So again, as I was mentioning, uh, cre creation of components is uh, uh, something similar. I mean, exactly similar to what we do in any of the uh, React projects. So let's have this components uh, directory. Uh, let's also create a layout first. So I'll just copy a little code for for the layout. Uh, you know, like let's let's create the navigation file. Navigation.js, then we'll also have the uh, footer.js file. Let's also have the uh, layout.js file, which which we can import. So you know it, it'll look a little better at least. Uh, and I'm gonna copy it from the prod version again. So if I go back and if I go inside the components, so these are all the components which you're gonna build. Uh, but let's go over the navigation first. Let's copy the navigation because again, this is something which is static as of now, but you can be like, very dynamic if you want. Uh, then let's copy the footer as well. You can copy the footer. Oops. And then let's finally copy the layout we have, and then you know, like we'll we'll uncomment the uh, uncomment the uh, layout thing and stuff like that, which which we have inside the. Oh, I think I already deleted it. So let's let's now let's now have this in place. So. At least we'll have the layout. So let's uncomment this. Let's have uh, layout in place. Um, I'll just copy this up and I'll just paste it over here. It should be like this. This. So we have at least the layout over here, and we're also going to, you know, use this for for the layout. So right now we we don't have the components defined, but you know, like we're getting the story, so we are not. Uh, I mean, so we we see the loading over there for for just a bit. Uh, because th at that time we're getting the story, and as soon as we get it, we are, you know, we are going to render it with this particular uh, story block component. Uh, and I mean, for, for for it to work, we need the uh, we need to create the components which which we are going to just just create. So let's see if the layout is there at least. I think, oh yes, I, I saw a bit of that. So yeah, layout 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 is there, but again, we will need to create the components now. So as we were there, we we had like these four components, and they were the uh, page component and you know like uh, 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 teaser component, grid component, and feature component. So let's let's create those super quick. 
uh, the first component again that's the page component so i'll just create page.js and what's what's going to happen is again this component is going to be something similar to what we have in app.js file so it is going to also use the uh, story block uh, the, i mean the dynamic component uh, i mean uh, story block component so you know it, it can render the dynamic com uh, dynamic components because the page has this uh, body field as you mentioned i mean as i mentioned before uh, which is of type blocks and it has more uh, dynamic components inside that so we need to um, uh, so we need to loop uh, through those uh, you know loop through those components and we we need to show that so let's uh, again i mean well this is a very small component but you know again just to save us a little time because i, I think uh, we if if we if we write everything from scratch then probably it's going to be very long for us so this is the page component uh, so yeah what we're doing right now again as i mentioned you know like we are going to use the story block component but to make the components editable inside the visual editor so you know like when we saw the live editing and stuff like that we need this to you know have uh, i mean we need story block editable component uh, i mean we need the story uh, we, this this function this uh, this function to you know like sit at the top of any component so you can see that uh, this is again just the page component we have uh, this is a functional component so we are just exporting it by default and then what we have in the app.js file is uh, again you know like like uh, i mean we are passing this uh, whatever we are getting so whatever story we are getting like the one which we logged whatever uh, whatever we are getting we are passing it through uh, uh, through the property block and this page is now going to get that block uh, uh, you know like like uh, the prop block and it's going to use that so what we are doing over here is i mean we just have this one little component inside it uh, again these are some basic classes and as i mentioned we need to uh, have this function over the top of the component to make it editable uh, like to to click uh, to make it clickable and, and stuff like that what we're doing is inside the block.body so for example if i again show you the again show you the graph json uh, you're going to see that this is the body field which we have so you know like inside the block we are looping through the body field um, i mean we're looping through the body and uh, we are mapping the nested blocks which are inside that and you know we are just uh, using the uh, story block component again over there so that is going to render those components dynamically so i can just hit save over here uh, then we need to create three more components the first one let's create the teaser component uh, so the oops, so the teaser component again it is going to be uh, something similar so uh, you know we'll need the uh, what do we say uh, we'll need the uh, editable one over the, uh, over here so story block editable then let's have the you know, like let's let's have the teaser component in place with the block, and then uh, let's. I mean, again, again, if if I do it from scratch, that is going to take a lot of time. So let's, you know, let's uh, let's copy that from this place. Uh, I mean, again, uh, copy paste is what what developers do, right? So uh, so yeah. Uh, I mean, where is the where is the where is the what teaser component? So yeah, I mean this is this pretty you know small component, but again, uh, so let's let's just have this much uh, because you know it might have a couple of stylings in place and stuff like that. So here we are. So again, this is this just a very small component which is getting the block passed and I mean block block passed inside that similar to what we did in the page component, and you know like what what we are doing is what we are showing right now uh, i mean again we, we have this and the basic stylings what we are doing is we have you know like it, it just had the headline component in place so uh, i mean the headline field in place so if i go over the teaser you'll see that we have this headline so what we're doing is we're just showing that i mean we are rendering the headline which we are going to get over there from from the block and then export default teaser so you know like at least we have it over there uh, similarly let's create the grid and let's create the feature super fast so i'll not uh, you know like go over again so grid is just gonna take the dynamic components again and it is gonna the features are again gonna be something to you know like uh, i mean this this feature is a little complex i mean uh, with 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 a more with with more fields uh but i'll just comment that out in a while um which one was about i was about to copy so yeah uh, we we had this grid in place so let's have the grid component So again, grid is something you know. Like I mean, we, we all know what grid is. So grid is just gonna uh, uh, grid also was was of type blocks. So it is just gonna uh, render the dynamic uh, dynamic blocks inside that. Uh, then we need to create the one uh, uh, the feature component. So it's it's feature feature dot js, and let's also 
copy the feature component. I mean, I can I can do it from from the local version as well. But again, uh, just just to mention this this uh, repo is public, so you can access this as well. And again, what whatever we are doing it, I mean, whatever we are doing uh, right now, we are also gonna uh, you know like we are also gonna. Uh, use that so I'll just comment this out uh, I mean co comment the image and stuff like that because we only have the name field in the in the feature so if I go back to the feature component over here uh, you'll see that we, we just have the name field so so yeah I'll just comment these out these are the more uh, these are the fields which we are going to render later so uh, okay let's let's do this let's do this as well so again this is this is something same it has uh, the class then again we have the story block editable on the top and then we are just running an h1 with uh, with the block name that's it so yeah, i think we are ready with the components so we have the four components that are inside our story block app so this is the page component this is the grid component this is the footer uh, this is the feature component and the teaser component uh, now what we need to do is we need to register these components uh, you know like to uh, so so that they can be used inside the story block component so as i mentioned during the start we'll need to do that over here so i'll just import the component so let's import the page from um, component slash page um, then let's have uh, let's have the grid as well then let's have the user as well then let's have the last one which we had that was the feature component Oops. So we, we have all of that now. Then I mean, in the end, as I was mentioning that you know we need to uh, register the component. So let's make it like this, and let's you know let's let's create a little map. So it's going to be page, uh, grid, teaser. I think I'll need to do the a different sort of mapping, but let's see if this works because uh, at later point you know we we will have uh, components with uh, different names. I mean with with uh, with with uh, dashes in between so if we have that then we cannot use this format uh, then what i need to do is i just need to pass these components over here and hopefully now we should see a few things inside our react app but we don't so there is some oh we we do we do that so the component page doesn't exist oh all right uh, we'll need to map it as i mentioned so uh, because because uh, the you know like they are under case over uh, i mean lower case over there and stuff like that so i cannot use this version i'll just go back to the um index file just to copy a bit so we we have this uh, you know like like we we have this sort of uh, structure in place i'll just go over here and i'll just do this and i think now it should it should work for us Still not. Oh, we, we see it. So we, we see now, now you know, like, again, there's something which we are rendering. So the content is coming from story block, but there's something we are rendering. And we should be seeing this inside the uh, inside inside our story as well. So let's hit publish once. But yeah, as you can see, we, we can see this. And inside the visual editor now, you can see that, you know, we see these dotted lines. So as we enable the story block JavaScript bridge, and we, you know, we we the, uh, did that story block editable in place. I mean, we 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 kept that story block editable in place. Uh, that's the reason why we are seeing, you know, these dotted lines. And now what we can do is, I mean, you can click over anywhere. And as you saw that, you know, like it is gonna, uh, I mean, it is gonna open up the schema and it is gonna uh, render everything from here. So let's say hello from. Let's make it a little more better. Hello from React India. And you can even see that you know we have these uh, these features as well. So maybe I wanted to say, uh, you know, like, uh, can you can you suggest me something to type? Uh, all right, uh, maybe uh, maybe let 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 it be feature one. But you can see that you know like it's 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 live editing right now. So what we can do is uh, we can you know like now we can hit save, we can hit publish, and if we go over to the React app now and if we refresh, you're gonna see that hello from React India and stuff like that. So this is how easy it is to to integrate Storyblock with uh, with with React. And again, these are our components, the stylings which we have, or anything which we have is going to be defined inside our uh, inside our own um, uh, inside our own files. I mean, inside our own components. So maybe uh, let's say I want to have the teaser maybe the size of four Excel. And if I hit reload, you're going to see that the size changes. And you know, like we can we can be uh, very uh, this way we, we can be very granular so we can even give the styling option so we'll, we'll create a, a hero section in in just a bit and you know we're going to see that 
uh, and as I was mentioning, you know, you can you can do the live edits. I mean, we, we can see the live edits happening in place. And you know, if I do this, the feature is going to shift over here. Uh, if I if I do, I mean, if I uh, keep the grid over the top, you're going to see that as well. So again, uh, this this is how easy it is to use a story block. And these are your own components. And you can see that right now we are uh, you know using localhost slash home. Uh, we can even give it the real path. So right now, if 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 I think if if the part doesn't match, it is going to just take us to the home uh, home slug inside the React. Uh, I mean, where where we typed in. Uh, let's have it this way. Uh, so I, I changed. I just changed the real path, and it is it is like this now. Um, so yeah. Uh, uh, and uh, you know what 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 we need to do? I mean, uh, let's not hit save over here because I think if we have everything on the top, I mean, if if we have uh, the teaser on the top and you know like grid, grids in place, that is going to just work for us. Um, so yeah. Uh, again, uh, this this is how easy it is. These are your components, and you know you can you can see it around. Uh, you know, like as I was mentioning, it's it's not something of page builder. It's something that you know you can use uh, to create your own components, and you can map those components inside Storyblock. And you know, once you enable the JavaScript bridge with uh, with you know with just this little uh, where did it go with this just just little initialization, we can we can just you know we can just do the live editing things and stuff like that. So uh, so yeah, again now let's let's I think let's let's take a little break and then maybe maybe just a two or three minute break, and then we'll move on to the I mean we'll we'll create the more complicated components like like uh, the ones which I was mentioning you know like the ones which we see in the prod version where did the prod version go. Um, in the prod version, so for example, we'll see how you know like like uh, we'll we'll see something like this. So we'll create this hero section. We'll see the uh, I mean, we'll see the featured articles. We'll create the about page and stuff like that. Let's 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 create the about page right now itself. I'd say, um, to you know, to see if if we can you know like if we can do this. Let's hit publish over here. Uh, so let's let's create the about page. Uh, again, you can change the slug if you want it to be about us or something like that. Oops, something like that. You can do that. But let's let's keep it about page. Uh, let's. I mean, now we are in the about page. Let's add just a teaser in the about page to say about. I think I'll need to hit publish once. Yeah, and you can see that you know, like now we can we can again do do that that sort of thing. And you know, let's let's hit save. Uh, let's similarly create um, service page maybe because we have that inside the nav bar. So 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 let's let's create that. Let's hit publish just once, and let's you know let's uh, let's again add the teaser so you can see that it is it is getting added over here. And I can just say maybe. Service page. So again, these are all your components, and you know, like, um, oops, uh, and you can, you know, you can, you can design by uh, design them by yourself and stuff like that. As, uh, as soon as I hit publish, and if, if you know, if if we go over here, like inside our local uh, host, which is running, I mean, that's the same thing which we see over here. But you know, like, we can we can do live edits inside the visual editor and stuff like that. So now, if I if I go inside the home page, uh, about page, you can see the about us. If I go inside the services. We see an error, uh, and why is that? Let's debug that. All right, I think it's services maybe. Yes, the slug is services, so we, we don't have anything for services. Uh, I'll just change the slug because I made it service. Uh, let's uh, let's go back and change the settings for that. Let's add an S over here. Oops. Save. And now, if we refresh it, it should be there. So yeah, it's 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 like that. Uh, this is again, this is how easy it is. Now let's let's move on to the more complicated components. I see Sid is back now. So uh, yeah, yeah. So so uh, yeah, I think uh, I think I'll just stop sharing my screen for a bit, and then we can you know we can move on to the uh, we can move on to the um, uh, creation of more uh, more of the complicated components. So yeah, I'll I'll just I'll just uh, stop sharing my screen. Uh, I'll also take a little break. I'll just get some more water for us, and uh, you know, like uh, in the meanwhile, if you have any questions or anything, you can just uh, put those in the chat itself. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll just stop sharing my screen. Sid, uh, I don't see your camera. Um, uh, I don't see you. I'll just stop sharing. No, you, your camera. I don't think it's. I don't see you here. No, I, you can see me live. <laughs> uh, Pranesh, can you can you see uh, Sid? No, I can't see. He says, "Nope, no one can see you." Can you hear me? Is that mine because of my mic? Can you hear me? Can yeah, they they can't hear you. 
Yeah, but they can't see me. Oh, I haven't even seen you. <laughs> uh, I think you can maybe. Uh, no worries. Should I leave? Or... Maybe you can turn off and on your camera. Maybe you can try that. I just did. Oops. Maybe you can maybe you can rejoin. Uh, uh, meanwhile, uh, meanwhile, Siddharth is rejoining. Let's you know, like, uh, let me know how how is it going for you. I mean, uh, how how do you think the workshop is going? I mean, if if you think we, you know, if there is something we need to cover more, or if you have any other questions or something like that, please let us know. We are we are all here, so you know we can we can just. Oops, I locked my screen, so we can just you know we can see you now. Uh, so we can we can just talk. Uh, about whatever you 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 know you maybe maybe you have to uh, maybe maybe you have some questions about headless or maybe you have some uh, other things about headless or maybe you want to know something about storyblock itself or uh, or maybe you know let, let me know if it was not clear or something like that because I think we went a little deep inside that itself because those were the small components uh, will you know will will now just copy paste the uh, bigger components to you know just I'll just explain you the code and we'll you know we'll 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 see how that looks. Uh, I'll just take a little break, a water break, just for two, three minutes, and, and you know, like you can, you can consider this as a QA sort of thing. So, in case if you have any questions, please, please let us know. Uh, I'll just be back in two, three minutes. All right, then, then we can continue. Yeah, absolutely. I guess Charit, you did a great job covering all of these things. And if you're following along with us on the Notion page itself, you might have noticed we are, we are I guess, in the middle of the. Our workshop we are we are already two hours we didn't re didn't realize that that it's been it's been two hours already we have been live doing this workshop but you know here's the thing about workshop time time flies because we are so much indulged in understanding basics aspects or anything some or, or something which is which is super interesting uh, I personally have been indulged with a lot of workshops uh, recently because. I am personally trying a lot of things for myself. <laughs> so yeah, it's it's just that it is it is the thing with workshop that uh, it, it is a time consuming thing unless unless you are just you know just listening and for keeping it for the later part and for you're gonna implement it later. But especially you know, but especially where, while we are doing the workshop and we are following along, we can't even realize when the time flies. Cool. But in that case, if you have any questions around the workshop content so far, feel free to drop that in the chat. Uh, Jagat will be joining us shortly and we'll be moving ahead with, with the stuff remaining. I guess there's not uh, much of the things which is uh, left yet, but we're going to you know, do some of the things which I see in the list already. Like We definitely have done like some things you know, we have, we have like prioritized something before, and not have went exact way the 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 things have been listed. I'm just reading it, but it's like you know, it's up to you if you want to follow along or if you want to see what what's your priority. If you have like let's say, if I've already set it up things, you don't necessarily need to follow some basic first steps, right? You can just directly jump on to uh, setting up the React and then. You know, just connecting switch block with React and then start creating components right from there. But uh, how how many of you all will be joining us for the in-person uh, conference tomorrow and day after tomorrow? Let me know. Uh, we do have you know the booth, the in-person booth right right beside the conference hall, and uh, we're gonna have a lot of things. On a boot for sure. So if you're joining in in person, make sure to come say hi. Do participants get the recording of the workshop? Yes. So this is getting recorded. Uh, once the conference ends, I guess this will be all edited and uploaded to the YouTube channel. If I'm not wrong, that's what I got to know from the organizers. Mm, so yes, I can already see this particular live stream is getting recorded. So we, we will have a recording of this soon, and uh, it might be uploaded. On the YouTube channel, you can you can check out React India's YouTube channel. There's already a lot of uh, videos and streams from the past events over there. So, if I'm assuming it's right, if I'm assuming it's safe, there will be recording uploaded of this particular workshop as well. Cool. Uh, thank you so much, Pranish. And here we have Chakit back again in the room. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. Uh, thank you so much, Sid. And 
I hope it's going good. Um, all right, j just a question for you people. I'm not sure if, if it's asked already, but I mean, uh, like, I'd just like to know, I mean, if, if you are, I mean, if, if you understood what I did so far, so because, you know, right now we are going to create more components and stuff like that. So just, just asking in case maybe someone can tell us, Pranesh, Amit or anyone. Perfect. Go with the same flow. Thanks for the feedback, Pranesh. All right. I think I'm a little tired, though. Um, just give me a second. All right. I'll just share my screen again. Awesome. Um, all right. So let's let's you know let's create more complicated components now, and let's see how how that looks. Um, uh, I'll just. Um, you know, I'll just go to the prod version and see like what what fields do we have because I don't remember the exact fields. Uh, but uh, let's let's go to the prod version. Here it is. Let's create the the hero component first. You know, like I'll just see the fields we have over here. Where's the hero? Here's the hero headlines. I'll in background and layout. All right. So so you know, like this is something which is going to be very uh, nice to see because uh, we are also going to see the styling options. So if I go over here. Let's create a new block. So let's we will create a hero block over here, which will be more simple again. Uh, and this is the place, you know, like like as you see, I mean, the hero component is created, the hero block is created, and now I need to just uh, add in the fields. So maybe the first one was headline, which is again a text type, so we don't need to do that. Then it was subheadline. I'm just checking again, and if I'm uh, typing it right, yeah, uh, subheadline is there because you know we'll be we'll be copy paste, copy and paste and. But the field should map because you know we're we're just uh, I mean block dot headline block dot subheadline those those things should match. Then we have the background image, uh, which is now now we need to change type. So let's make it an asset type. And whenever you select you know like different different sort of fields different sort of fields we get this. Um, uh, I mean we we get these settings associated with the, with the particular field. So let's make it images. And the last one was layout, so that was a single option field. This is something uh, for for uh, styling. So I think we we have two values over there. Uh, I just need to see which the first one was constrained, I guess. And then we have the full width. So these are the styling options which you know we, we are passing through again. And this is also something that we are going to have inside our uh, inside our draft JSON uh, once once you know once we once we add that. So let's make the value constraint. Oops. Let's add an option as well. Um, that was full. Oops. That was full width. And let's have it like this. Um, let's also have a default value. So let's say let's let's keep the default value as full width. So let's hit save. And now let's go back to our content, uh, our homepage. Let's let me just publish these so that it looks good. And we have the data updated. So yeah, if I, if I go over here now. Uh, well, you know, like I think we can delete the teaser from here and let's add a new block. So, you know, like this is how you can add a new block. So, you can see that the hero component is here now. I can do that, but I mean, we won't see anything as of now because again, we need to create that component in our front end. Uh, I can go over here and let's say uh, my blog, something like that, my blog website. And then in the headline, can say, Welcome to my. Blog, maybe React in your blog, and then you know you can see that the layout is a full width right now. But again, we have two options, so so it's, it's going to be like that. Let's add assets. I'll just add a couple of assets. So I already created a good folder for this. So I'll just add all the assets. So you know I don't have to go back and again. I mean back and forth just to grab the assets. Uh, I'll just I'll just grab all of the assets. It should just take a while to upload all of the eight files, depending upon depending again on my internet connection. Um, and yeah, it's done. So I think that this is the hero image, so we can have it in case. We can hit publish, but again, as you can see, that we, we don't have anything right now. So right. Um, again, I'll just go over to the prod version, and I'll just you know um, go to the hero.js just to just to grab the code because again, this is something which is just 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 about styles, and you know, like I mean, we 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 know how to create components and stuff like that. So it's just something. Uh, similar to any, you know, like we, we don't need to consume our time creating the components from scratch. It's just, you know, like we, we just need to pass the block as a prop. And again, we need to have this. And these are something styles. 
uh, just to show you, uh, I mean, how how these how the styling from you know like the constraint or uh, the full width are working. So you can see that if if the block dot layout, I mean the, the the data which we are getting again from uh, like like if you go over from the start, we are getting the story from here. We are passing the story uh, in in the story block component, and the first thing is loaded. I mean that's the page. And inside the page, we are next. I mean we are we are looping through. Uh, all of the components, and then we are passing all the dynamic components over there. And you know, then then there was the Caesar, then there was the Sid. But uh, right now, it's it's going to be hero. So when, once we get inside the hero again, we are passing that. I mean, we are getting the block. And once we get that, you know, like like we we created these fields, headline, subheadline, uh, image, and stuff like that. So you know, we we are just uh, this is this is how we are accessing the image. So block dot background image, uh, file name. I think I I I think I'm not sure if I. The background image correct it should be though. Oh yeah, it's 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 correct. I was just I was just checking the names and stuff like that, you know. And if I hit save over here, I'll just need to do one thing. Uh, that is, uh, I'll need to uh, you know like uh, add this component as well inside the index.js file. So I'll just copy this and let's say hero over here, and you know let's let's add hero. Yeah, and it should it should be there now. Let's hit refresh. It is not here, and let me see why. Uh, I'll just see the config. Oh, the technical name is zero. Let's it's small h over here just to just to be consistent. Let's hit up. Uh, we we see we see the config. Yes, it's it's there. So this is how I mean we we are somewhere near. I mean you can see the broad version again. Uh, where is the broad version? Oops. I think this is the broad version. Yeah. yeah. So you can see that we, we are we are somewhere there. Uh, all right. So yeah, this is this is again how you know like this this is how you can do that. Uh, maybe now if I want to change the styling, so maybe I want to have a constraint. You can see that the styling's as well they they change a bit. Uh, but you know let's let's keep it full width. Uh, and again you know like if if I want to add another hero section maybe over here, I can just do that as well. So you can see that there is already an image which is not there. So maybe you know maybe I can add any other image, and you know. Uh, it's it's gonna it's gonna show the uh, show the updates in real time. You can see that I'm adding hero over here. Um, I'm adding sub headline over here. So this is this is how you know you can if once once your components are created, this is how you can use them over and over. So as you're talking about the atomic approach, uh, you know like uh, uh, this this is how it works. You know we we, we use these use these atoms and we build this uh, template. Not 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 template. I mean the component. And you know like with with this with this particular. Uh, Component, we we you know we we can reuse it again and again. We can create more of the things, uh, but I'll just leave this one. And again, I mean, you can see that these these are our stylings which we defined in, uh, you know, our our own code. Let's also, I mean, uh, it'd be better if we have uh, the text black instead of white. So let's get rid of this as well. I hope the black. I mean, I hope black looks a little better over here because of the background. Let's hit refresh, and you can see that you know like like it's 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 black now. So this is this is how. Easy again it is, and the spelling is wrong for website, so let's change that as well. Yeah, and let's hit publish. And yeah, this this is how this is how we you know we easily create more and more components. So now what I'll be doing, I mean, uh, I think I think it should be pretty clear by now. Like this is this, uh, I mean, how we can create components and how we can alter the styling in your own code. Again, this is your own code, and uh, if, if I refresh this as well, I'm gonna see the same thing. I don't know why I don't see the image. Okay, I see the image. My internet is a little slow, I guess. Uh, so that's why that's why there is a little delay. Uh, let's now move on to the more of the you know complicated. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, let's let's uh, edit the uh, other. Uh, I mean, let's let's edit the feature as well, and you know, let's add more components so that we are quickly towards the final final uh, build we have, final product we have. So inside the feature, there was this name field. Then we line is again gone. Uh, so sorry for that. Uh, then the feature has this image field. Um, let's add image field inside the feature. Let's make it again of type uh, asset. Uh, where is asset? And let's select that. We only need images. I mean, we only need images in this particular asset. Uh, let's go inside the home again, and we're gonna see. You know, like now we have the asset field over here. Uh, let's do one more. You know, better thing because it's gonna help us. I mean, it's it's gonna. Help us analyze. So this is something which I commented before. I can just do this, and I'll just even do this. This is just styling. So yeah, I mean, but but you know, like right now we'll be able to see that 
may not able to load the images because it's trying to load the images and the code is not handling those. So let's quickly add the features, I mean, the, the images. Uh, if I go inside feature two, we have this. And if I go inside the feature three, let's also add the feature three image. Let's hit save and it should work now. So you, you can see that this is how you know this is how the images are working as well. So now it kind of looks a little good. Uh, and again, you can you can you know play around with these things as you as you'd like to. So again, the this is the styling for the grid which we defined. And you know, like once once your once your component is created, once your component is created uh, with with the atomic approach, you can use it over and over again. So even if I you know want. Another one, I can just add it like this. So maybe you want to show your team structure, or maybe you want to show features like 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 I'm doing right now. You can you can just do it. Let's hit save. Um, and I think I think we we are good with the home page right now. Uh, I mean, uh, in in broad version, we have this um, this broad version. We have this feature articles, but but to show the feature articles. Let's have the articles created first. Um, all right, so this I and mean, you can see that there are a couple of more components over here. Uh, so let's let's now create the article which which has these couple of fields. So image, title, subtitle, teaser. Then we have this content which is which is rich text. So let's let's create those. Or I think you can you know maybe we can even copy that. So let's let's copy a couple of uh, um, components. So yeah, I think we are done with the geo component. We are done with the page features done. Uh, I think we, we are just left with these three components. So let's let's just you know like which which are for the article. So let's copy these three components, navigate to another space. So I mean this is something even pretty cool. I mean which I mean which was not planned by me to show you, but you know like we can copy one. I mean we can we can copy components from one uh, one 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 space to the other space. So yeah, I can I can just do this, and you can see that the three blocks are completely uh, pasted inside our dev version. So. If I go over here, and that's the same thing. But uh, if I go over here, you can see that we we have these. So let's see the article one first. I mean, I already showed you how the article looks. Uh, let's create the blogs and let's create the articles. Uh, I'll just move to the broad version just to see the folder structure. But you know, like it's it's the um, it's the it's the it's the blog folder we have, and inside the blog folder we have a home page. Let's delete this, and then we have like these four four articles. Uh, the teaser is something you know, which is which which is uh, something which we are going to show like this. So this is the teaser which will add a little. Um, all right, so so let's uh, now create the blog folder. So this is how I can create the blog folder. And inside the blog folder, let's create articles now. So when I create, when I click on creating a new story, I can you know like you can see that I get options of content types. So now we have two content types because we also have article and article is a content type. Uh, let's create maybe blog one, or, or maybe uh, article one. Let's 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 go with the article so that we you know we uh, stay same with the broad version. So yeah, uh, this is how we can create one article, and we are over here now. So you can see that we already have the fields. Now we just need to fill the fields. So let's say article one teaser something like that. I think it's not working. I'll just hit publish one. So maybe we can. Oh, I'm so sorry. I need to I need to add the component. Uh, I mean I need to add the uh, component inside the you know inside inside our front end. Uh, I mean, I need to make a component article component. So I'll just I'll just do that. Uh, but you know, let's let's create one article like this. This is the one. Uh, maybe you can say that uh, article one sub headline or subtitle something like that. Then we can add you know like I think we can copy pretty much some sort of lorem ipsum from from somewhere. So I mean, this is this is this is rich text. So you can you can play around this as well. Uh, let's go on the prior version and copy a couple of lines directly from here. So you know, like, we'll have something similar. Uh, this is the sub headline. Let's let's leave that. This is the blog content. Again, you can you know, you can have your own blog content, and this is how easy you can you know build your own blog website and stuff like that. Uh, let's also add a teaser sort of line. So maybe let's add this much for the teaser. And we have this in place. Uh, let's, uh, let's now create the article component uh, inside our uh, inside our component. So I'll just create a new one and say article.js. And let's again copy the code. Uh, you know, like since since this is rich text, we will need to render it accordingly in our front end. Um, um, uh, uh, just just give me a second. Yes. All right, so sorry. Can we add dark mode toggle? Definitely, you can do that. 
uh, you know, let's let's. You know, I think it will be a little too much to try because we we have very less time left. But yeah, you can you can you know you can add a uh, maybe maybe a toggle button or maybe you can add that. Uh, what do we have? Uh, something like uh, checkbox option sort of thing. Uh, you can add that. I think I can show you pretty example for that as well. I'll just uh, uh, open up another space. We you know the one which we created. I think we we should have something over there. I mean something similar over there. Uh, so if I go over here, if I go inside the home story, um, you know, like uh, so. Let's say let's say you know like we have this, and the, this is the tab for stylings which we have defined over here. So you know you can you can I mean when when you're creating the components and stuff like that, you can even create these uh, different tabs to manage other things. Uh, so yeah, uh, let's let's see the stylings as well. So you can see that you know we we have defined the background color. So you can see that it's it's white right now, but you can make it light, and it's gonna just reverse it. Similarly, you can, you know, you can, uh, I mean, we can, we can do with it the, I mean, the dark mode and stuff like that. I can even show you something pretty more, uh, you know, interesting we, we have in this particular demo space. So if I go inside the site config, you'll see that uh, this, this is the, this is the global site config, which we have. So we have the header and we have the footer in place. Uh, but, you know, like we can, you know, like, for example, if I want it to be a light header, I can do that. And if I save it, I'll see it everywhere. So you're going to see that this is the light header right now. I mean, again, the light one doesn't look good uh, for, for this particular thing. But you know, like in case we change anything, that's going to be there. Uh, you can even have completely, you know, like like for, for, for this particular example, for example, you can see that these are the uh, default colors and stuff like that. But you know, you we, we have added this checkbox to use custom colors as well. So I, if I do that, you'll see that this is how you can even provide color reviews and stuff like that. Um, uh, you know, like. Uh, I mean, you, you can you can you can have a color palette for your complete website. Uh, so if I change the primary color now, you'll see that the the button over the top changes. So because that is using primary color, let's make the primary a little primary. Then we have the secondary color and stuff like that. We can see that you know like this this is using the dark one. So let's change the dark as well. So you'll, you'll see that you know this is how we are changing the dark color as well. Uh, maybe let's make it a little less dark, something like that. You can see that this is how you know, this is how you can change the complete site config as well. Uh, if, if if you want something like that, and if I go inside the home story or if I go inside any other page, you're gonna see the same thing because it's I mean this is this is how it looks, you know. I mean this the 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 uh, the, the button has changed and stuff like that. So so it's it's completely in your hands. Uh, I hope that was clear, Amit. I mean let me know let me know if if you want to know anything else as well. Um, I'll just move back to what we were doing. So yeah, I was I was adding the article oh so this is the hero component i was adding the article component mm -hmm. let's add the article component so this is the article js i'll just quickly cover it because you know we need to deploy it as well uh, all right so this is how the article looks just one thing as i was mentioning that this is the uh, you know the, the content which which we have inside the article is going to be uh, something uh, you know like like this is rich text so we need to render the rich text as well so in, in, to to render the rich text we we have this uh, so block rich text render which i'll need to install um i think that's the name so let's oops let's copy that and you know you you can you can uh, import the render from there and once once that's imported you can just uh, render the block like this so yeah let's hit save uh, let's go back to the index.js file to register the article as well. So again, let's copy this. Um, let's change it to post. Let's change it uh, to say article over here. And let's do it over here as well. So article, sorry, uh, article at home. I'm using the lower case inside the, inside the schema. Yes. And if we... I think it's if it's all saved, if we refresh it, we should see the article. Yes, here it is. So this is how you know this is how even you can you can add more articles and stuff like that. Uh, I mean this this is how easy it is to, to you know have your own blog page and stuff like that. And now maybe if I want to create more articles or something like that, I can just duplicate it and say article two. And that should be duplicated. I should, I can move to the article two page. It shows the same content, but you know I can just change it to article two. And I can change it to, I mean, I can change it over here. And you can see that this is how, you know, you can, you can live it and you can see how it is looking again. Uh, the teaser, let's, let's keep the teaser and content filled with lots again. Uh, let's hit publish. Let's, let's create two more pages. I, I'll just change the image so that, you know, we can see the difference a bit. Uh, this is for block two. 
you can see that even if I, you know, I can say hit save or publish or something. So it's it's not something you know that is going to take our code to production. Uh, but you know, like it's it's something uh, where we have this. Uh, I mean, uh, when when we change the image or something like that, that's also displayed in real time. We only have a little time left, so let's do it super quick. Uh, let's duplicate it. Let's make article three. And let's change the headline, subheadline, and stuff like that. Mm. Um, are, you, are, you over the, are, you, are you over there? Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you enjoying it? I was just asking Sid if he's enjoying this uh, thing or not because it seems a little. I mean, I, I seem to be doing a lot of uh, boring work, maybe, maybe? If, not at all. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's do this. Uh, I think we are good to go. Uh, so yeah, this is this is how we quickly created. I mean, you can see that this is how we quickly created blogs. I think I did something wrong over here. All right, so this was supposed to be the Article 3. And the Article 4 is over there. Let's keep the images like that because it won't matter. Um, all right, so so yeah, that's that's in place. Let's now go back and add a couple of more things. So let's let's make it more complicated because we have just a little time left. Uh, I'll just take ten more minutes with the code and then we'll hit for and then we'll go for deployment. All right. Um, let's also publish these. So uh, the one thing which which you know I'd like to do right now is uh, maybe maybe let's create a home. So for this as well, uh, you know, like uh, which is going to be, uh, which is going to show all the blogs which we have. So let's create that home story, uh, and this home story is going to you know, let's let's make that I and mean, let's say that it is the root of this particular folder because I mean that's that's the root. Uh, and let's then hit publish maybe, and let's then add the all articles component, and let's say this is all articles. So so you can see that the all articles component just have the title and everything rest of it. We we're going to do it inside the code. So uh, we can say that all articles. Let's just say, uh, not sure how oh, it should be working. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, again, we need to make the all articles component over here. So let's hit all articles dot js. Um, and you know, uh, let's let's again copy the code for all articles. Uh, this is like just a short file, but has a little code. So it's like this. Uh, in this again, uh, you know, like uh, most of the things remain same, but uh, the only thing which we are doing is uh, we are rendering the article teaser. So I'll just need to create the article teaser component, which is you know, which is going to show the card and uh, the, the the content which we had, for example, over. I mean, in the broad version, if you go, so uh, it's this thing, this thing, and you know, like like the images and stuff like that. So this is this is the teaser component. So we we just need to do that. Um, let's see if we have any other question or something like that. No. Uh, all right, so uh, where was I? Yeah, so so you know, like we, we just need to. Uh, I mean, what, what we are doing over here is uh, again, we are importing article teaser and stuff like that. So I'll just create the article teaser component and then I'll just explain you the uh, um, all articles component. Um, all right, so uh, this is the this is the teaser. Right. So, so this, this is teaser, which is going to, you know, which is getting all the, I mean, it's going to get the article uh, data and it's going to just uh, render that, that little card. And inside this, what we're doing is we are using the story block API to manually fetch all of these stories inside the, <coughs> sorry, inside the, uh, you know, like, like, uh, I mean, that, that start with block slash. So whatever is inside the block folder, we are fetching this. Uh, we're just using uh, use state to, you know, uh, initially define the, uh, article state then we are using the uh, use effect to just you know like get all the articles so again to get all the articles we are just doing this uh, you know like uh, uh, we, i mean this is the this is the again uh, uh, again the, the story block content delivery uh, the content delivery api which i was mentioning about so this is the story block api which you know which we are initializing it over here and then we are just getting whatever is inside the block folder and then we are filtering the articles because we don't need the home page which we created right that is also going to come inside blog slash so we are just filtering out if the uh, name is you know like if the, if the story's name is home so we are just filtering it and then we are 
just doing a couple of things just to you know like add the slug inside that particular uh, article as well. And then we are just looping through all the articles. I'm just checking if there is any article or not, just you know, just so that it's reactive a bit and it doesn't break. Uh, we're mapping all uh, for, uh, from uh, I mean uh, over all the articles, and then we are just passing the content, and then we're you know. Uh, we, uh, I mean, having the article teaser over there, uh, just just uh, rendering the article teaser. We don't need to uh, render the article teaser over here, but we need to render the. Sorry, sorry. Uh, we need to have the uh, all articles commented over there because that's coming from story block. So let's have this in place. Oops. Let's make it all articles, and if I go over here now, I'll need to make it like all articles. And then it should be all articles, and I think it should work now. Let's let's save. Let's go back and let's hit refresh. So yeah, this is how this is how the all articles are working again. Uh, we just have the title field over here to you know to to have it in place, and these these are just gonna come automatically because uh, these we are fetching them and we are doing that. So we we are not doing a lot of things over here. Uh, but one interesting thing right now we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, show the uh, feature articles as well. So. Um, you know, like we already created the featured article component. Let's remove this grid because we'll have the featured article components. Uh, popular articles, sorry. So let's let's have that. Uh, and if I show you the schema for this popular article components, it's uh, sorry, it's it's going to be something like you know, uh, what we have is again the headline. So uh, we can say in the headline popular articles, and then we have these articles. Uh, uh, Field which is of multi option, so you know, like what what we can do over here is we can, uh, I mean, we can select mul multiple of the options we have, and the options which we are getting are from the stories. So I mean, from our own folder. So that is you know we can we can define the uh, I mean we can set it to self. So for example, when we did for the layout, it was self, but now we can do it like stories over here, and you know we can set the path over there that just take it from inside this folder and restrict the content type to article. As I mentioned, whenever you uh, change a couple of things. I mean, change the settings and stuff like that. Uh, change the field. You get these uh, different settings associated to that particular field. So yeah, uh, let's now make it as popular articles. And uh, you know, like let's also select the article so you can see that as soon as I do that, I see these articles. I can just add those. But again, we'll need to add this inside our. All right, I think I did a couple of changes together. All right, and again, we'll need to add this popular articles uh, inside our uh, inside our code. So let's also get the popular article component, which should be here. This is just a small small one. Uh, again, we are you know getting all the popular articles from the story, and then we are just um, looping over the articles, and then we are again showing the article teaser. So let's create the popular articles. And yep. So, so you can see that again. Uh, we're using the story variable, and we, you know, whatever we are getting. So, this is something which we are going to get from the uh, page itself again, and then we are just going to loop it. Just one little, I mean, just just a little catch over here is that uh, you know we're not going to. Uh, I mean, if if I if I show you the graph JSON, um, for uh, let's let's close this. So I think it's published. Uh, so, uh, so I can, I can just show you the draft JSON. So this is how we are getting the articles. We're just getting the keys for the articles, but not the values. I mean, not the stories which we have for the articles. So you know, it's it's like I mean, we don't see the article content. So even if we even if we do it like that, we we're not going to see anything. Uh, for that, we we have something called resolve relations in story blocks. So what you can do is when, you know you can, you can tell that please resolve the relations whenever you see this or that or something like that. So I think I can try it with this as well. So that that is going to be just like just resolve. Relations. I mean, you can you can do that over here, uh, and we're gonna say that whenever you see, um, whenever you see what, um, whenever you see the um, popular articles dot articles, you know, just just uh, uh, what do we say? Just 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 uh, resolve the relations for that. So let's see if this works. No, it doesn't. I think I'm just copying something wrong. Just just give me a second. I'm not sure if I'm doing it right, but yeah. Um, let's go to the source to see the app.js file. No, it's the same, but maybe I'm just misspelling anything, or maybe I'm just not using it right. Oh, that's that's bad. Me should be n. Still not working. 
All right. So um, I think I'll just do this, and if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter because I, I don't remember how exactly it, it looks over. Oh, we we have this. So yeah, I was I was using some wrong spelling or something like that. So you can see that now. You know now now with 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 this articles. I mean they have we we have this over here. We have this rails key as well, which was empty before. But we get all the articles. I mean we we get these four articles inside the. Uh, I mean, we we get the uh, uh, relations results, so you can see. I mean, the three articles because we select three of those, so we're getting this article one, we're getting the article four, and we're also getting the uh, article three because we select these three articles. Uh, yeah, yeah. So one, three, and four. So that's why we're getting this. Um, let's now, you know, let's. I mean, we need to make it work inside story blocks. So again, I mean, we we create the popular articles, but you know, we need to. I mean, I showed you how you can get the content from here. Uh, I mean, with, with the with the API, but we need to get that data inside our uh, inside our uh, inside our app as well. So I can just go over here, and what we need to do is um, sorry uh, over here. And as was me I, I mentioned during the start, uh, so the first thing is uh, uh, I mean uh, the the API. Uh, I mean the API uh, uh, API parameters. So so you know the the first thing is that we are getting the uh, draft version, but you know I can just uh, say that. Uh, also resolve relations and then we're going to pass an error and it is going to be the same thing which i copied so it is now going to fetch all the things for us uh, i think i also need to register the popular articles component over here there are and now if we go back and if we hit refresh we should see the articles no we're not seeing those um, maybe I'm doing something wrong. Just give me a second. Mm -hmm. Am I doing it right? Looks, uh, let's see if we have any error inside the the version which we're running. Let's let's refresh this. Popular articles doesn't exist. All right, so I think there is some sort of naming issue. Um, oh, it's it's just uh, there's popular articles. Um, let's go to the. Let's go to the app.js again. Let's see the index.js again. Oh, silly. Uh, all right. I uh, think we should have it now. Yes. So, so this is how you know this is how we are displaying the popular articles. But you'll you'll also see that if I try to play, it'll break. That's because you know we need to tell the bridge as well that we are resolving relations for that. I mean, you can get the data, but if you want to play around with it, you'll need to also have that. Uh, uh you know, you. Uh, I mean, uh, we'll need to add the third parameter as well over inside the app.js over here. So they are the bridge parameters, bridge options. So I just need to add that resolve relations, as you can see, to, to tell the bridge that we are resolving relations for this particular thing. So it, it even works inside the um, uh, bridge as well. So let's hit save and let's go back. And once it's done, I think we should be able to play now. So you can see that this is how you know I can I can even play with with the popular articles now. So we are resolving the relations. So I mean, we we just have those three uh, IDs for for the stories. We are resolving those, and then we are with with the third parameter, we are also, um, uh, you know, telling the bridge to resolve those. So the bridge doesn't break. So yeah, this this was about it. And I think uh, maybe if I want to change that, I want to add this one. I can do that, and you'll see that this is how this is how it changes. It changes. So yeah, let's let's again instead of article two, maybe let's have. Um, article 4 so you know like it, it looks that we were doing something different so yeah uh yeah i think i think most of it is done so yeah this is this is how easily you can again uh you know uh, create your own blog website and i think we we look pretty solid over here so uh, if i go over in this uh let's close the corner now and you'll see that this is you know like this this pretty much looks the same of what we have on our prior version and you know we can we can just play around we can play around styling you can see that uh, i can click on read more and i'm going to go to article 3 and yeah, this this is how this is how it works. Uh, now comes the part to for for deployment. I see we have a couple of minutes left, so let's deploy it as well. Um, let's go to Wordcell. 
Um, I think I already created a project for this, so I'll just need to see. So React India, no, yeah, no. All right, let's create a new project. Um, I think I I already created a. I mean, I created a Git repo, but that Git repo isn't. I mean, we'll, we'll, I just need to initialize it. No, this is broad. I'll just go on. Oh, that's the first one which I see. I'll just need to initialize it. Uh, that's already initialized. I just need to add this. So, I mean, you can see that the repo is empty as of now. So, I can just add this. Uh, maybe add all the files. Okay, submit. Initial commit. Let's push to the master branch. I think the data should be there if I did everything right. Yep, so we, we have the code right now. And now we can go to our Versal. So I've already given the permission for this uh, for this for this repo in my, in my Versal. I can just import this. And Versal is going to handle most of the things. So uh, I mean, you know, like it's, it's going to let's have it. Like if, if we can get a good name. All right, that's, that's available, I guess. And Versal is going to, you know, like it, it knows that it is the, uh, I mean, it is a, React project and it knows where the build is going to be. It's already, I mean, it, it, it also knows that uh, what are the what are the build commands and stuff like that. So let's let's just hit deploy, and it should just, I mean, the deployment should start and we'll just get that particular deployment and that deployment done in, in just a while. Um, I think if we have a little time, maybe we can even play around with the webhooks a bit. So uh, let's go to the, uh, I mean, let's check the deployments. That's, that's happening right now. Let's go to the settings, sign in order. Oh. What? What? Why? Ah. Um, let's go to the, uh, I'm just, uh, so here, here's the hook. So, you know, like you can, you can put the uh, hooks as well inside the, uh, I mean, inside the, uh, uh, what do we say? I mean, inside inside story block. So once we hit publish, you know, it is going to rebuild our website. Uh, so let's say uh, dev hook, something like that. Um, let's create the hook from the master branch, and we can now copy this hook. And what we can do is, I mean, by the time it's deploying, so I think the deployment should be done. Oh yeah, it is. Let's see how it looks. This is how the app looks, and this is how we are. Oh, I see that. The name is not pretty good, so let's change, change the domain, the domain if, if we can a bit, bit. because it, it, it um, um, let's see it over here. I think let's, I mean, it's, it's, it's just going to be a little work, but, uh, you know, let's, let's. Do do should we should we change the domain or let's let's keep it that way only? What do you think, sir? I mean, we can keep it that way. It, it says a couple of things, but yeah, I mean, it it's 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 going to be that only. So, so yeah, uh, let's 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 have it this way. I mean, we'll we'll just share this link as well. So uh, I'll just I'll just share that in a while. But let's let's go to our um, let's go to our uh, story block app again and let's go to the web hooks. So you can see that you know if, if you publish a story or if you publish a story, we have this. And I can just, I mean, I can just, uh, I mean, this is this is something which is on my Vercel. So this token is something which is with me and stuff like that. So you can you know uh, easily put in that and I can save it. And now whenever I hit publish anywhere, so let's maybe you know um, change this. Uh, Remove these attribution marks. So right now, I mean, the the, the published version is just going to be same because you know we are not doing any static sort of generation, and we're just using the draft token inside the published version as well. Uh, so it's it's going to be same. Uh, so if I hit save and if I hit publish, and if we go back to the Versal, uh, you should see that the deployment should be happening in a while. Well, well. Yeah, so, so you can see that, you know, as soon as I hit published over there, uh, our webhook got fired and it is just deploying it again. And yeah, I think uh, once it's deployed, we can just refresh this. I mean, again, this is this is just a demo one. So, I mean, it's using the draft version in the prod as well. And we don't have a static site gener generation in this particular thing. So it is just going to use the data because this is a single page application. Uh, you can, I mean, definitely uh, change it 
uh, to you know use different uh, versions of tokens and different uh, environments to you know have it like that so once you save it it's the draft version and once you publish then only uh, the data gets transferred uh, but yeah uh, this is this is how it is and it's i mean it's just 17 seconds and we have the production ready and if i refresh the production you'll see that the um, you'll see that the uh, what do we have the estimation marks are gone uh, i'll just go inside the chat and i'll just paste this link as well so you can you know uh, see this as well by yourself and uh, so the link is again not there you can just see this and what i'll do is i'll also add this inside the workshop so we we see that a bit um where is the workshop mm, i'll just need to go inside a couple of things and add that so I'll just, I'll just, I think, uh, stop sharing my screen. I'll just add it to the workshop as well. Uh, but yeah, before that, uh, yeah, I think, I, I mean, I think I'm done. And this is, this is most of it. Uh, this is how easily again you can create your uh, blog website. I think I started to code around 11:30, 11:15, something like that. And we, we are done. You know, with, with no time, and we, we have deployed it even. Uh, we, we, I mean, we created components from scratch. We did everything from scratch, and here we are. So, it look, I, 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 I'll say it again that we look pretty solid on the, you know. Uh, the UI looks good, so this is how easily you can even create your own blog, and it, it looks good. It looks kind of good. Uh, again, for stylings, we're using Tailwind CSS, so uh, you know, uh, it, it, so so that it looks better and all. Uh, and yeah, this this was again about how you can use the uh, uh, the the webhook as well with 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 that. I'll just see if we have anything left in the agenda. Yeah, I think we did the we did the deployment. We did. Okay, so I'll I'll share this. Um, repo as well with you all so yeah this is the this is the repo i'll just add it to the to the workshop page as well so so you can you can access it from there but uh, i'll just share it with you as well so this is the repo and the uh, above link is uh, the the deployed version um the repo is public yes it is so yeah you can you can you know you can just uh, see the prod version see the dev version they should be pretty much similar uh, maybe just a couple of tiny changes what we did did right now and everything else is going to be pretty much similar. So yeah, I'll just I'll just add that and let's go to the agenda again. Uh, yep. So I think I think we are done. We have we have done with the webhook as well. The GitHub repo, repo is created and the final version is almost the change. We I mean almost the same. And we add the featured articles. We see the I mean we have created all of the other things. Uh, I see this twice, uh, but I cannot. I'll, I'll just edit that. Uh, yeah. And that's how easy it is. So yeah, I think I think I think we are done. So it is already here. Uh, I'll just stop sharing my screen so you can maybe share yours if you want to show something. Oh, yeah, we, we have something more to show. So I'll just stop sharing my screen and I'll just give it back to Sid. And feel free to ask any questions if you have any. Uh, we still have like a couple of minutes left, but Sid might take that time. And feel free to shoot if you, if you have any questions. I'll just stop sharing the screen and get some more. Yeah, perfect. So I was just sitting beside and I was like listening to all the things Sakit just mentioned and uh, I tried following along <laughs> while Jacket was speaking, but I'm, I'm definitely going to watch the recording once again and, uh, you know, uh, implement whatever Jacket mentioned. And Jokin, you can do the same, you know, and as Jacket mentioned, feel free to reach out to us in case you need any support, if you are stuck somewhere or if you have query around React, Soli Blog or anything like that. Anything else as well. I'll quickly share my screen just to sum up things, and um, just just as a reminder, uh, we do have this giveaway which we are doing uh, about a one year access to Agit subscription. Feel free to enter the giveaway from this button. You can just head over to react.india/live, and that would be pretty much. And yes. Work, work with us, you know, we would want you to join us in our, our team um, with any role which you think is something for you. So just head over to storyblog.com slash shops and there's like a bunch of openings which you can watch out for. So see what 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 resonates with your interest and go ahead and apply for the same. And in case you are looking to apply in upcoming two days, feel free to reach out to us. If you have any questions, we are here in the booth at Storyblog. So, so yeah, yeah, don't 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 kind of miss this opportunity. I would I would, I would have not uh, missed this because well, 
so so block is a company you know which allows you to be super flexible just like headless cms and um, we, we love the remote culture over here you know we can go from it everywhere and the kind of culture we have inside within the team that's also something i uh, definitely love about so block so go ahead and check out the open positions if you think anything is there for you uh, yeah sure go ahead and apply we, we do have, have our own to reflect a master program we are yeah, working on it and we are soon going to launch the beta version of it so you, you might want to apply for it if you are very much involved into headless jamstack or so block of course so make sure uh, you keep an eye on our socials for that and for that matter you while you are filling the giveaway form you will be asked if you are interested in the ambassador program or not if you are just hit the check mark and we will we'll, we'll make sure to reach out to you when it when it gets opened tomorrow at the booth uh, you can find me and uh, chakit it's just beside the conference hall so we are going to have a booth over there a lot of things are uh, fun prizes you know legos and then we have mechanical keyboards from keychron and then a lot of swags of course and uh, some opportunities waiting for you over there so once again if you are joining in in person make sure to come and say hi if you are joining virtually you have already been able to um, be part of the raffle of agri subscription so that is something you can you know be be part of yes check it yes uh, yes yes i was i was about to say I was in case there's any go Yes, I was. I was just about to say we are really looking forward to see you tomorrow at the booth because I think the booth is going to be pretty happening because we we as Siddharth mentioned we we have a lot of uh, things to give away. We we have stickers. We have awesome stickers for everyone. We have uh, keyboards. We have Legos and stuff like that. We have T-shirts as well. Sid is showing off his T-shirt, so we'll have. I mean, we we have white ones this time. So so we we have even uh, you know like good-looking uh, t-shirts as well for everyone so so uh, do visit our booth we are really looking forward to have you on the booth and let's let's have a chat maybe about react maybe about story block uh, headless or you know maybe maybe about any other thing because we, we are happy to chat and you know uh, visit the booth i mean um, uh, do do visit the booth it, it's going to be awesome we're really, really looking forward to see everyone and interact with everyone yeah back to you sir yeah for sure i'm quite excited and uh, on, on that, that note uh, uh thank you so much everyone for for staying with us so far you have been like a wonderful audience uh and once again to repeat so block is your headless you must go experiment with that you know bring bring up your like the best best out of it you know if you have anything any feedback any recommendation any advice we are all yours and uh, you know that we will be here to support you in each and every case you can definitely visit our website subscribe.com find us on twitter and uh, check out our learning hub which is like a great platform for any developer to be to be at throughout, throughout the weekend perfect uh, well with that with that being said uh, me and chakit will sign off and we will see you around at the conference and yeah, enjoy, enjoy the rest of the Workshops. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, really thank you so much for for staying with us, and it was it was really awesome presenting. Uh, I mean, I I hope it was it was really useful, and yeah, I think uh, see you see you all soon. If you are in person again, visit our booth. Uh, see you tomorrow, and uh, if 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 there's anything, you can again hit us on our twitters, and and yeah, really looking forward to to chat with you all. Uh, bye bye. Have a great day.